three. Stony and Wojo. Stony and Wojo. Stony and Wojo sounds like the name of an old TV cop show. Stony and Wojo. They're on the radio. Stony and Wojo know more about sports than most other folks do. Stony and Wojo. This is their talk show. There's also humor and bits, opinions and wit, and a whole lot of situations where people call in. Yo, 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 yo. It is two minutes past the hour of three o'clock on Tuesday, the 20th day of January. The year is 2009. Wings coming off that big loss to Phoenix. At least the uh, the Pistons uh, beat Memphis at the Palace on M. MKL day, right? MLK, uh, MLK day. day. Yeah, there you go, Stoney. <laughs> How you doing, Bob? Yeah, the Wojo Bob, here, and there's Stoney. Stoney, it's good to see you. Yeah, I've been uh, meaning to ask you, yes. what have you been up to the last nine years or so? What you been doing with I yourself? Don't, I, I don't know. The uh, Your two favorite little girls are now 18. Jasmine and Miranda no, no, have grown no, no, up. That, okay, that's Jessica, outstanding. It's Jessica and Marissa. Okay, I, I don't know what I just said. All right. Uh, I'm still married. Um, I'm surprised by that. Hey, do you still hang out with your sister? Do you uh, throw her into the... Uh, the bed there periodically. You said my sister? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm I, on my, I'm I, sorry. I slept in the same bed with my sister. Yeah, he did. He starts to come and then he pulls oh, out. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. No, now we're back to new school. I oh. am throwing up oh, already. Oh, my God. But let me say this. The minions with an attack. <laughs> yeah, they are. They torpedo us. Torpedo me. This is the the revenge of the minions today. Yeah, I know. I've heard your little morning show you do with the big headed kid. Yeah. Every now and then you guys go at it. Very entertaining. Now, Michael Valeni, thank you very much for allowing uh, me and Stoney to hang out here and have fun with your bits. Yeah, I can't ramp it around it our off. old bit. I can't believe we pulled it off. This is I the know. first show. I can't either. This is the first show we've done together since uh, George Bush was president. Dude, people don't realize it's it's the equivalent the first of, George Bush. Yeah. It's the equivalent no, no. of having dinner with a president, getting your schedules in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but between the three of us, yes. with the time I take off, right. the time you take off, Bob's gone. Mm. At least we we found the date. No, you guys, I I I love the fact we were able to pull this off. This is great. This tremendous. Is a lot of fun. Bob's, I love that. Bob's wanted to celebrate Roberto's perversion yeah, for two years. Yes. I go, all right. Well, if we're doing it, you're doing it. So, and for those let's who, roll. and for those who don't know, Valeni did indeed come through with his promise. <laughs> Multiple packs of Nutter Butters. There are tons of them out Doritos, there. Doritos, chips, pizza. Oh, I'm and. I'm oh, engorged already. Oh, man, that just tasted so, so good. good. Mm. It tastes so good. <laughs> uh, later in the show, by the way, uh, mm. just for old time's sake, yes. Stoney will give out his cell phone number on the air <laughs> and see if anybody calls it. We're looking forward to that. What time, we'll, what time will Joe Glass be joining us? <laughs> Larry Brown will be joining us at 535. Yes, exactly. Oh, my goodness. Now, this will be fun. Now, uh, this is what we're doing, right? The Stoney and Wojo Invitational and... It's all of Valeni's shows and all of his cohorts. I'm not going to call them minions. All their great songs that Roberto's put together and all their great drops. Right. You won't hear stuff like, I just had my first Bloody Mary. No. No, no, no. It's It's their stuff. Their stuff. Right. Right. Ours is those people. Yeah. Yeah, Right. Exactly. Those people. They ask the venerable (laughs) ones to come in and shepherd them through because on one side of the 64 team bracket, are the drops so funny look, such as that mm-hmm. exact one of the heavy heavy favorites by well, the that's way that's why it's a one seed oh it will be very hard to beat on the other side will be the songs the great songs that roberto has put together and some very very difficult ones some great ones from with terry foster talking about his d um and then they will meet in the final four and the champion will be crowned sometime around midnight tonight Okay, maybe maybe six p.m. It might, it might be. I won't be here for it. <laughs> right. And and for those who don't know the way it works, you just call in. We give you a game, uh, a matchup. For instance, maybe you get uh, in the Siren region, the number six seed. That's a great story versus the eleven seed. It's Hooper's birthday. You just tell us which one you think is better. Right. That's it. And it advances. Now we now, we do ask for an explanation sometimes, right. like why'd you pick that one? Right. If you like, if you take the sixteen seeded, I don't know, in the uh, in the second deck region, you know, only only stat is single over second deck. Then we will probably use a veto. We're allowed two vetoes. 
Right. One per, each per person? No, no. Just two total. Two total, one two total, each. Two total, yeah. one each. Just only, so nobody screws wow. with only it. In the, it. Only in the first two rounds. Yeah, yeah. Just so nobody screws with it. Right. Okay. Uh, and and periodically, Mike, we obviously, because these are your drops and songs, we want your opinion. Like, if you think somebody really got screwed with a law or was omitted from the tournament or was <laughs> seated poorly, let us know. I think the biggest controversy that exists now is the lack, uh, the absence of hyperbole. Yes, absolutely. I think the uh, selection committee, you know, whiffed on that one. Well, it'll just be what jumps out at me. And I, I, and I spoke with the selection committee earlier. Uh, it's all of us, as well as uh, Mark Hollis is on the committee, because he didn't have anything else to do Tom right Osborne. now. Jay, Jay Billis was furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hyperbowl, from what I understand, had a great regular season, but was terrible in its postseason tournament and did not make the field. Yeah, and they play in a division in a conference, quite frankly, like the Horizon, where you know, only one team is going to right, get right. through. Right, right. It's a one and, seed and that, league. That's no the doubt problem. about it. So we feel we feel somewhat bad about that. There won't be any play in games because we got to try to get to the end of the tournament by six p.m. And yeah, that's when sports talk soup would start. Right? Yeah, exactly. And um, and we'll just field your calls on picking. You just say. All right, I'd like to pick a game. 248-539-9797. We'd like to hear the comments on other stuff, though, Woj. Uh, Ticket text 97136. All right, can we at least get this out of the way, Michael? Yes. Because we're already getting people. They do want to know your opinion on the Kawhi Leonard thing. Can you oh, give I, I, are we we're really doing that? Yes. Well, no, just we're real little, quick. Just real quick. No, people, I mean, it's just that's a first-rate organization. The Spurs didn't bend. They, 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 that's where, like, the Pistons would have given the Lakers everything and gotten back Josh Hart and a sub sandwich. Like what, <laughs> like what Cleveland did last year. They should have told Kyrie right. to just show up. Right, They didn't have to do it. Right. And here's the thing. Like, people are like, well, he's not going to stay in Toronto. But that's the whole point is they didn't want DeRozan anymore. They know DeRozan and Kyle Lowry aren't going to get him there, right. they get a chance. Immediately, Kawhi Leonard goes from the Western Conference to the Eastern Conference, becomes the best player. He's the best player in the East. And now, Toronto can do what Oklahoma City did with Paul George and sell him on you know, the culture and then throw a big birthday party for him and he can say, I'm staying. The point is, Toronto with Kawhi and Lowry and that roster, they can win the East. Wow. Well, you know, you know what else might be appealing wow. to DeMar DeRose? I mean, to uh, Kawhi Leonard? I hear he's a big hockey fan. He likes the, the, the coach in Toronto. Babcock. Uh, oh, uh, he gets to see I me, mean, Babcock. Sure, I missed that drop, but that's back, when, that's back when wings were a little bit it's relevant, and that's that drop. Is yeah. You know what I like? I like the fact that the Spurs kind of stuck it to Kawhi Leonard. He doesn't yes, want to go to, to because because we're going to trade you out of the them. country. Yes. <laughs> oh, you want to go to L.A.? How about Toronto? And there's nothing wrong with Toronto, Toronto but it is out of the city. country. No, but I mean, look, the Spurs get an All Star, and he can go there. He doesn't have to be the man. I think it's better for DeRozan. And I look, San Antonio. People forget what did Leonard play? Nine games. Yeah, they made yes. the playoffs. I, I I just want to hear the real story about what the hell happened. Is it oh, just over here. the injury thing? It's got to be something more. Than I think. That. I think. I, I thought it had something to do with maybe Tony Parker. Knows, but Tony Parker's going too. Well, that's part of it though. Is Tony Parker's comments? He was speaking from Popovich. He was like his foot soldier. Mm-hmm. There's a lot that went on there, and it poisoned the water. But Kawhi's a weird dude. And the, the other thing Toronto is good. What they did is if they can't sign him, like. Paul George did with Oklahoma City, they can get rid of Kyle Lowry. They can, they can just right. start from scratch and tank. Right. They can shuffle the deck. Yeah. They'll know if they got a shot to sign him by the deadline. And you know what? They can move him next year. And what, we were talking about it out there. They'll get what they want for him, even as a rental. If there's a Western Conference team that it thinks he can put them over the top, like let, let's say next year at this time, let's say Utah put together some crazy offer. They're they're 50 and 22. They're the three seed in the West. They feel like they got a shot, and you add Kawhi Leonard to Utah for a three month stretch run. Yeah. What if Kawhi Leonard sits out this year? Then I would. Then he's an idiot. Then he's, he's yeah. Because d- he's on, proven he'll do anything bizarre. But you're talking, you're talking what twenty seven million dollars? Yeah. Yeah, he would be. Well, an the idiot. other thing too is Toronto. He's an idiot. Toronto can <laughs> offer him <laughs> the K. I love the KD one. But he, he can get 190 from Toronto. He can only get 140 on the open market. And I I know it's it, the numbers are so silly. It doesn't even matter. But that is a factor. It is 50 million dollars. So Toronto, look, Toronto took a shot. It's like the opposite of what the Pistons did. They took a shot with a short term window. It could blow up in their face, but mm-hmm. there's no long term problem. Pistons took a shot with Blake, and they're screwed for five years. Right. That's the difference. That's why I can't rip. They it. can only hope that there's a team that wants Blake Griffin at the headline like. 
But I don't know who that would be. Who? A team I, in Bosnia? No, unless uh, for some reason if Blake Griffin plays really well. But yeah. then, I don't I'm not I'm not Mike. banking on it. That's the, Mike. I know. That I contract. Said, I know it's awful. Mar- 35 million dollars for the next Please. 4 years. It's awful. It's one of the worst contracts in sports. Well, there's a few around here. <laughs> Miguel Cabrera, well, you know. <laughs> Jordan Zimmerman. Right, so there's a few. How does this work now? You uh, just open the lines? Yep. Let's do it when we return. Uh Open line. 245 68 11 30. No, 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 no. Exactly. Tony, stop. Please. <laughs> You're going to confuse people. It's 248 539 9797. And you can also comment on ticket text at 971 36. And we'll start the tournament. I mean, looking at the field, it's, I got to be honest, stacked. I think the uh, second deck region it's is stacked. by far the stacked there's, one. There's no doubt. The most stacked one with the top seed, second deck, uh, in the, in the, um, Siren region, the top seed is a siren. The Terry's D region, the top seed is Terry talking about his D. And the Elitist region, that's, I think that's the a- Jamie Elitist song, a very controversial song, I- was banned for years and years and years and has been brought back. I think that's the weakest of the four regions, though. Probably, yeah. It's the Elitist region. I know. Let's begin. Next, 97 1. Oh, that's a hard fade, Sully. Uh, you wouldn't update your kitchen or put an addition on without a detailed plan. So w- why the hell do you treat your landscaping any different? 836 Miller, let the pros at Miller design, install, and then maintain a beautiful landscape for you. Jeremy's team will come out, talk about what you want, and then make it happen. And they'll do it with 3D landscape design. There's no blueprints. There's nobody, you know, drawing. And, oh, this is a rhododendron. You get a, a 3D rendering of what the project will look like when it's done. And the best part, they'll match it to spec before you ever write a check. Call them. Whether it's a fire pit, pool, patio deck, anything in between, it's Miller. 836 Miller. That's 836 Miller. Or you simply go to getmillernow.com. Two seventeen. The hell is on this? the Valenti show? I told you we put Stoney and Wojo. In. Oh God! With a little East Coast music that Mike Valenti loves so much. Oh, oh boy, Stoney, I'm surprised you're here. Isn't Bruce playing somewhere? For God's sake, yeah, on Broadway. Oh, okay, well, I saw it once. I don't need to see it again. Oh, of course not. No, once is more than enough. Let Stoney, how, Stoney, how many total have you been to? Total about one twenty-five, approximately. Oh, wow, oh, remarkable. Lord. Yeah, well, he's you know he started out in 1973. Let me give you the ticket text, and then we've got people lined up. This is a gala event. <laughs> it people is a gala. are lining up to pick games. We have just a few spots left. We'd love to have you aboard. Um, number of people. I've never been so excited for the show in my life. This will be Radio Gold. Thanks for this, guys. Louie in Lake Orion. I'm already all in after that Stoney and Wojo song. Classic. That's Derek in Detroit. This is ridiculous, but this show start is making me giddy. I'm embarrassed in my car. <laughs> why do you, why did Stoney and Wojo's song get me hyped? That's from Jeff. <laughs> Second deck, a number of people voting in. Uh, Hot Hooper's birthday is a dark horse. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wojo, a number of people would like to say Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year! Uh, let the bitch walk is coming out of that second deck region. That, right. that, that, that I'm telling you, heavy that. steam on let the bitch walk. Yes. Let's just be honest about that one. Um, and we're gonna go to regions at random. You don't get to ask right. for your particular game because we know people try to you know skew it that way. So why don't we kick off the tournament? Tip it off Absolutely. for the twelve ten p.m. matchup in Worcester, Massachusetts. Oh, the home of Holy Cross. Yeah, let's go to a uh, Paul in Shelby Township. Paul, how are you? I'm doing great, Bob Stoney, Michael. It is an honor to be first up on this gala event. Oh, oh Paul, it's great the to honor, have the you. The honor's ours. Yeah, and you know, you're the perfect person to kick off the uh, Stodian Wojo Valenti Invitational. Why don't we go to the Terry's D region? Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, let's kick it off with the 7-10 matchup in the Terry's D region. Uh, and 7-10 matchups, always tight. Here we go. Are you ready, Paul? Yes, I am. The seven match, the seven seed, rather. I've, I've, I've talked to former players. That would be the That's Mike Va- Siren song. Valenny being, uh, of course, name dropping. Going up against the number 10 seed. 
The morning show's unhappy. They don't like certain people listening to what they do. They call the mics lackey. They're afraid they're listening. Now, those are snippets of each of the songs, That's because the, if we played the entire ones, we'd be here all day. Uh, yeah, we'd be here at 11. Yes, you would. Yeah, the Valenti That's... Siren song or the Minion song? Who wins that game? Well, this must be how Meryl Streep felt like in Sophie's Choice. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have to roll with the Minions. The oh, Minions! The morning show's unhappy. There it is. Like certain Big people selection. Listening to what they Look how happy the Minions are, They are. They are. It's because the level of disrespect that your show has shown to my guys. And no, this is their way of biting back. Like that that song was like sex for Roberto. I'm sure. That was more satisfaction than he's had since either of his kids were born. I'm just glad the three of us can provide the morning show with content. That's great. Excellent. That's true. As opposed to the other way around. Suck a dick! And the Minions, don't be offended. The Minions is a very popular movie. That's Isn't right, there Minions too? Right? Yes, there is. All right, Stoney, why don't you take us to the next game? i got to see who's on. Put the uh, screen up so I can see the, call, right. the, the caller. George. George, turn your radio down. What is this, 1999? Uh, uh, sorry, man, sorry. Hey, George, how are you? Good, how you doing? All right. Uh, we're going to take you to the siren region, if that's okay with you. Is that okay, George? Sure, of course. All right. Uh, we'll give you the um, the six eleven matchup. Ooh. Oh God! Ooh, hopefully it's, hopefully okay, Cooper's birthday. This is no. a this is a great one. Oh the, my God! The, he's he's already keeping score. It's the six seed. Wow, that's a great story. <laughs> okay. Condescending voice guy. Love that one. Versus versus the eleven seed. It's Hooper's birthday. Oh, oh God. Definitely, definitely no brainer there. Hooper's birthday. Oh, it's see, Hooper's birthday. See, it's an upset in the seedings, but in the in the world that we live in, it, the seedings should have been flipped. I just, well, right, but I I miss, and obviously we'll we'll go with it, George. But I, I mi- condescending voice guy. Oh no, is so effective because you wait for somebody to tell this meaningful story, and then Sully sits back there like a silent assassin and just. Boop. Oh, that's a great story. That's and a, you no, feel no, like yes. crap. It's I like, feel like bad the about get... that, but that's not really an upset. No, it's, it's 11 not. over 6, but it's, it's 11 not really over 6, upset. but, you know, uh, the, the Vegas odds were that... Uh, the, I think it's very similar to, favorite. like, you know, Marshall being a two-point dog to Wichita State. Good point. Yes, yes, six yes very much so. And keep in mind, these were two newer drops as well. These drops are within the last few months. Yes. Right. They're both in the same time frame. I also think, and this is interesting, you guys tell me if this is okay to say this, Hooper's birthday probably our strongest double digit offering. I, I would um, say so. I it's wrote right down. There, it's right there with the twelfth seed uh, Babcock. Mm. Babcock is it's certainly up there. Yeah. I know the Pistons are thrilled. Uh, I know they were very pleased the day I did the Hooper's birthday bit. Well, hey, Hooper's birthday <laughs> keeps on going. It's, it's more love for Hooper as the, as the, as the tournament progresses. Another Joe. strong 10 seed out there is Martha Ford saying, I love Jim Caldwell. Yes. Oh, Joe, That's a very you, strong uh, one. Why don't you take Brian, who's All up right. next, take him to the region of your choice. All right, Brian, are you ready to pick a game here, Brian? Me? Yeah, you, Brian. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, dude, yeah, sure. L- lay it on me. Let's see it. All right. Uh, we're going to take you to the second deck region. I'm sure you'll enjoy that, Brian. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah, we're going to give you the 6-11 matchup in the second Ooh. deck region. This is interesting, very interesting. These are the two drops. The number 6 seed. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Going up against the number 11 seed. Oh, that's a toughie. That's a tough. Not if you ask me. Not if you ask me either. But Brian holds the cards. Go mm-hmm. ahead, Brian. Uh, dude, I gotta go with the sorry drop. Sorry. <laughs> and it has happened. <laughs> Watch out for upset-minded sorry. I I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought flip flop would have no, really no. a little bit. I, don't, no? I just don't think it compares. Okay. The I mean, Hawkins special. I mean, Connie Hawkins from the outside. And it the has Hershey. happened. Yes, exactly. Royals. Royals. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Drop sorry. Is amazing. Let's uh, go to, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, ahead. Stoney. We got time for one more yeah, game before Stoney, the break. Take DJ to the region of your choice. All right, DJ. Let's uh, let's go to the elitist region for the first time, shall we? How you doing, DJ? Good. How about y'all, fellas? Uh, we're Good. doing great. Uh, we're going to go for the uh, the three fourteen matchup. This is a game taking place in the pit 
in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, wow. Uh, where the third seed... The decorum storm. The decorum storm. Uh-oh. Are we... Going up against the 14th seed and a favorite of one of the people in this room, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Dan Leach. I do sports too, so I'm kind of oh, right. I'm kind of all over the place. Get the sports voice. Well, thank you. I call Detroit Titans basketball <laughs> locally here. Detroit right? Titans old school, yeah. <laughs> oh God, God, it's so uncomfortable right. to listen to, DJ. Right, but you gotta go with number three. You gotta go with Caldwell. That's yeah, oh yeah, totally absolutely. Funny. You know, and it's funny, and DJ appreciate it. You know, Stony yep. Stony ripped that offering this morning. So you were not a fan of the Corn Star. No, not as a, not as a huge song. Mm. I love the no, drop. No. I love the drop. Hey, hold on I a think second. that's a fine hey, a three second. seed. Go ahead, Larry. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there's nothing. Just, little decorum. Little decorum. Nothing better. Little decorum. Little decorum. Little decorum. Right, now, little. question. Yes. You're four games deep. Four games deep, yep. Are, are we? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, we're on pace. Don't you, worry. No, you just provided Roberto with some nice drops. <laughs> right, you want to get to work on those now? Oh, shoot. I know what I just did. We have two top. Oh, we have, no. you know. We have two upsets via the seeds and two ones of chalk. So is the pace of like four per segment good or bad? Well, no, we had our little Kawhi Leonard talk, so that got yes, it going. And we... now we're going bam, 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 one after another. All right, so we will continue along with this. We are four games deep, Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. The Stoney and Wojo Invitational presses on next, <laughs> ninety seven one. All right, guys, so did you know that studies show that skipping cigarettes when you normally smoke them, it really does help you prepare to quit for good. So when the commercial breaks over, the next time you have a craving, instead of grabbing a smoke, just go do something else instead. Go have a glass of water. Go for a walk. Go pick up the phone and talk to somebody. Whatever it is, make a small change now, and that really is going to help you quit for good, whether that's today, tomorrow, next week, or whenever. So when the show's over, head over to everytrycounts.gov for more great info and more great quitting tips. Check out the website, everytrycounts.gov. It's the Stony White Powder up my nose. And Wojo. Hey! Invitational Bracket Challenge. So let the games begin. On 97 won the ticket. Filling out that bracket. Colored is fine. What matchup intrigues you the most? Second deck. Definitely a number one seed. 97 won, good to have you aboard. <laughs> The Stoney and Wojo Invitational uh. off to a fantastic start. Um, ticket text, boys, and then we will get right back into the game. All games. right, Michael. Condescending great story got screwed. Hooper's birthday has no versatility. Oh. Condescending great story guy simply ran into a team with superior guard play. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Condescending voice guy should have won. That's from James. <laughs> great story should have been a three seed. Wow. Whoa. Gotta play medium well soundbite by David. It's a classic, Andy. It is in the field. Um, the 11 seed, the Bruno Mars horse racing remix. Uh, I hope the Minion song and Elitist make it to the final four and you tell Jamie to stay in his lane again. Ooh, oh. wow. That would be very entertaining. By the way, you can follow along the bracket at 971theticket.com. All right. Oh, that's a website, too, right? Yeah. yeah sure. All right. So who's going where? All right. Uh, I will take the uh, next one and uh, let's get a caller up. That's Nick from Lansing. Nicholas, how are you? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Nick, uh, everything is fine. Hope you're uh, enjoying your day. You get the pleasure of going to the second deck region again. Okay, what do I got? All right, you've got, and these are always tight, the 7-10 matchup in the second deck region. <gasps> okay. You got the number seven seed. Give me my steak, medium Ooh. well. Ooh. Number seven, no, well, no other choice. Well, no other hold choice. on now, let's see. That's uh, <laughs> Hatchet doing Stephen A. Smith, and the 10 seed is Stephen A. himself. Crack! Saying crack. Yeah, I know. We're going to go number seven. That's uh, number seven. That's a classic up here in East Lansing. I, I got to share it with all my friends now here every now and then. So. <laughs> Jeez, love, love number seven. We're moving that ahead. I'm glad we're making an impact, Nick. Thank number you. seven. You know, th I, that's actually a blowout, I think. Well, an a, absolute here's blowout. here's my problem. Yes. I thought the selection committee acted like the real selection committee. Like when they put Bob Huggins yep. in West Virginia versus the school he used to coach. Right. Yep. It was fake Stephen A versus real Stephen A. Exactly. I think Crack got screwed. Yeah, it's crack like crack is an ooh, awesome drop. Look what we did. We put Butler in Indiana meeting in the yes, second round. Exactly. How did that happen? I don't happen? know how it happened. Oh, yeah. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Me, I, I will say this right now. Number seven seed, medium well, watch out. That's like... Uh, the, the, 
Watch out. That's on a collision course with Sorry. That's like George Mason. This is a great tournament. Stoney, Stoney, take John uh, to your region of choice, please. All right, John, we're going to go. How are you? First of all, how you doing, John? Great. How are you guys? We're wonderful. Uh, John, I'm going to take you to the uh, Terry's D region, okay? <laughs> Wonderful for the for the <laughs> eight nine matchup, which you know because of the seeds, it's always a close game. Correct? Yeah. All right, yep. here we go. Uh, the eighth seed, Caputo at the ballpark. I eat a hot dog down at the ballpark. Caputo at the ballpark. Going up against the ninth seed. Hold on, Bill. Fresh out of jail, California dreaming. When I step on the scene, the hoochie screaming. Pack Caputo. It's all good. <laughs> This is like uh, if Indiana played Arizona, this Archie is... Miller against Sean Miller. Caputo on Caputo <laughs> Prime. The, the Miller uh, region. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm rowing in the boat right along with Valenti on this. Uh, I can't stand either one of them, but <laughs> I will take California love. Wow. Great choice. Good choice. Great choice. That's a strong That's a strong. <laughs> that's push. a very strong one, Nobody yes. Nobody likes it when Pat whips out his hot dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With yellow mustard. Especially Mrs. Caputo. Exactly what I was. Oh, Stone, Stoney. Oh. Let the record reflect at 2.36 p.m. First inappropriate statement. Six more inches. And second one comes at 2.36 and a half. Bob, why don't you take Scott out in Westland and take him to the next region, All right, please. Scott in Westland. Are you ready for the next game? Oh, I'm ready. All right, we're going to take you to the Siren region. Uh, which uh, is, I think, the second toughest region of them all, and it's going to be the seven uh, ten matchup. Are you ready for that one, Scott? Bring it. Okay, this is also one of those interesting little setups. All right, the number seven seed. Little decorum here. Little decorum. That's Jim Caldwell, not the musical version, but the little decorum going up against the number ten seed. I love Jim Caldwell. <gasps> now, Ooh. does Martha Ford love Jim Caldwell enough? To let him win this game, <laughs> or is she <laughs> not going to let him win this that's game? A, that's a toughie. That's yeah. a toughie. This is a pick. That, is, that is a toughie. Uh, I think it, it was a, it was a hard fought game. Went right down to the wire, but uh, with a miracle field goal at the end, Martha Ford takes it. Wow. Yes, good pick. Oh, I'm wow. very happy about that. One. That's an ugly. <sighs> I'm telling Why you. Why is Stony anti little decorum? I don't get no, this. No, I think Mar- I think Martha is a. Great- it's all about the seating. I just think Martha is a great soundbite. But rem- see, here's where little decorum falls a little short: is you don't have the rest of it. Where it's like, oh, I know, oh, Larry. Oh, 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 right. Hold on a second. Oh, go ahead, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> there's like there's accoutrements. I just but- the fact that we hear Martha so few. Times. Yeah, just, and there, and there's an it. emotional weight to her yes. voice there. I love and it Jim was Calder. the fact that she was shilling for a coach when she still hadn't hired a GM. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Yes. Fair play. Uh, Robert, do you want to take Kevin to the next destination? I believe it's Stoney's turn. Uh, I'm sorry. I will, ta- yeah, I will go take. Ahead, I'll take Kevin, and we'll go to the elitist region, ladies okay. and gentlemen. How you doing, Kevin? Kevin. See you. Go to okay, Cal. 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 How you doing, Cal? What's up, guys? How you doing? Good, thank you. The elitist region we go for the 7-10 matchup, which uh, takes place in Boise, Idaho. Oh. Uh, where we have oh, the seventh place. seed. Bob, I think you've driven enough today. Let's go to the spa and release some tension. That would be the Wojo <laughs> GPS bit. <laughs> Going up against the tenth seeded. I let your ass go. He called you a bitch. You're the bitch. And you love it. When I speak, thousands hear me. I mean, to me, this should be a 30 point blowout. But go, go ahead. Well, go ahead, Cal. Mean, I wasn't even close. Terry blew him out. Not even a close. That's right. Yeah. Terry would blow right. out Wojo on the court all the time. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I stepped gracefully aside there. My GPS got screwed up. I never even made it to Boise, Idaho for the tournament game. I just think you you ran into a buzz. Uh, no, you ran into an underachieving Kentucky team that still had three first round picks. No, no, on it. that's exa- a ten seed. No way should that that's be like a, a Tom seed. Izzo team. Yep. That's, what's that, what's that, what is that? The Mo Ager Paul Davis team. <laughs> yeah, the it's like they were nineteen and thirteen and just settled well, for a ten wasn't seed. State the ten seed. They beat Colorado and then two seed Florida and mm-hmm. they went to the final four. Yeah. Terry hung up on you is, I don't, that is a way under Ridiculous. Song. I agree. I'll speak to the selection committee. The, better, the what, better team won. What do we see here after, what, eight games? Ten seeds. Three out of the four have advanced. Could ten be the wild card? Yeah. Uh, let's take Dave in Detroit to the next region, please. 
All right. Uh, let's see. You know what? We haven't done. We haven't done a one versus sixteen oh, matchup yet. Yeah. So why don't we do that from the uh, second deck region, if you don't mind? Um, we used to say, "Will a sixteen ever beat a one?" And then Maryland, Baltimore County the did. Retrievers. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Dave, are you ready to go to the second deck region? It, yeah, I'm ready. And happy New Year! Happy New Year! Uh, let's begin in the uh, with the 16 seed. Why don't we do it 16 and then the one seed, all right? Mount St. Mary. The 16 seed. The oldest stat that means anything in baseball is the single. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto apparently loves that one. That was a caller, I believe, correct? Going up against uh, the top seed. Second deck. Oh, good night. Mm, Dave. Oh uh, yeah, he second deck slam slam dunk. Ryan yeah. Allen. Oh yeah. No, that's, that's not even close. That that's Villanova versus uh, <laughs> William and Mary. That's a forty point game right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah, it was close for a while, and then the second half spurt changed it completely. Mm-hmm. See what you did there. That's fantastic. <laughs> Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. All right. How far are we along here? Five seven nine games in. Oh, yeah. we're doing we're, we're good we're pace. pacing yeah. well. All yes. right. We'll keep it timely. Couple open butter. lines if you want them. Hit the snack buffet, Bob Stony. Your diet cokes are out there. You're ready to go. Beautiful. Uh, if you're on a mission to create a beautiful backyard, enjoy the summer. Do yourself a favor. After you call the landscaper, call Paulson's Audio Video. Bring your entertainment experience outside. Listen to your favorite music. Speakers that hide in the landscape. They're heard but never seen. They're beautiful audio, but it won't bother the neighbors. You want to watch TV outside? They can do that, too. TVs that can survive the winter. You leave them out there all year long, and they got them up to 86 inches. What do you want me to tell you? You call Paulson's. You get to work on that design. They'll give you all the answers. Call Paulson's today. Paulson's Audio Video, northwest corner of 12 Mile Road in Halstead and Farmington Hills, on the web at paulsonsav.com. It's Paulson's Audio Video. It is the toy store for grown-ups. This guy again? Oi. Oh, yeah. God, all of a sudden I'm in a nightmare 10 years old. Oh, please. You should be happy I'm here. <laughs> Happy I'm alive. I've yeah. been up with you for all these years. Well, that's I actually a, a fair I needed, point. I needed almost a decade sabbatical. Somebody is just now recovering. I know. Let me give you the ticket text. Yes. Oh, please, Michael. Please. We will allow you to just to rock and roll. I mean, it, we're moving along at a good clip. Yes, we are. about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, save both of the vetoes just in case someone tries to blow it up. Rod yep. Allen's second deck. Best drop in the history of drops. Mm-hmm. Loving the tourney so much. I'm hiding out at work listening. That's from Kyle. Where's the veto, guys? Come on. Gotta save crack. Also, took the day off of work to listen. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Martha is the sister Jean of this tournament. Oh, good point. Bottom of second deck region is an absolute powerhouse. Uh, if you want the bracket, it's at 971theticket.com. By the way, on Twitter, there's somebody, I don't know who it is, who has a, f- a fake Stony and Wojo account, and uh, he or she tweeted, Johnny Avello prop bet. Who executes the first veto, me or Woj? <laughs> I have the veto poised for one game and one game only, and I hope I don't have to use it. And if Ooh. you don't know what's going on here exactly, A, it means you just never listen anyways, and B, I don't know where you've been. It, it's Stoney and Wojo together executing their one of their ultimate bits, mm-hmm. and it was a it was a Wojo request to uh, celebrate Roberto's perversion. Yes, uh, so and, that's and, what we're doing. And the, and the guys, uh, the minions, as we fondly call them in the morning uh, with, with Jamie, six to ten every morning, I'm doing a great job. Oh, that's where you've been. This has been a lot of fun. Are we? Yeah, you perversion. Never I've learned everything from Bob, though. <laughs> He's like the Yoda of perverts, <laughs> right? But it, his is off the air. Yours is on. I prefer to call them double entendres. Okay, oh, oh. that's what I prefer to call them. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Wait, Stoney, Wojo, who's taking where? I mean, Stoney's taking the next one. All right, so Stoney, you've got Kevin. He's out in Macomb. Take it away. All right, we're going to go with the, another of the uh, the one seeds, shall we? We're going to go to the, uh, the Siren region, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. where we have, it's named after him, the one seed. Oh, it, is, it is the Siren. Mm-hmm. And uh, by the way, who am I talking to? I like to went to the it's thing Kevin. before. Kevin, what's the Kevin, matter? I don't know. Come on, hey, hey guys. Yes. Thanks for pu- thanks for putting this together. By the way, this is uh, I've been looking forward to this all week. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for listening. We appreciate it. Uh, the siren going up against the 16th seed, and this could be you never know. 
the UMBC, the 16th seed. Chauncey! <gasps> oh, man. Tom Gores, Chauncey versus uh, the Siren. Huh. What do you say there, Kevin? That, That's a toughie. That is that is a really tough matchup because I that is one of my favorite drops as well. But, um, gosh, I got to go with the... I, I gotta go with the siren. Unfortunately. Yeah, siren, yeah. You know, it's a lot closer than people anticipate. It's like when I think it was UConn played Albany and they almost lost. My Great Danes. <laughs> yes. You know, and, and and good call, Kevin, because it is a number one. But Thanks, I do think I hate to say this, but I do think the siren is the weakest number one seed because it's it's just a noise, well, right? You know what? It's just There's so, nothing well, else to it. It's it's like, and it's overused. It's like Duke. I no, mean, no. You're sick of I it. think it's like when Kansas was a number one seed and they really weren't that good. Are you calling the siren Bill Self? <laughs> kind of, yes. Yes. Wow. I'd be surprised. I mean, listen, we love it, but it's just, you know, it's omnipresent. Anthony's in Sterling Heights. He's mm-hmm. up next. What's up, Anthony? What's going on, Stony and Wojo? Anthony, how are you, sir? What's up, What's Anthony? What's going on? Happy New Year. Woo! Happy New Year. Woo! Woo! Uh, I believe we're going to go to the Terry's D region, Anthony, if you don't mind. Yep, we're getting my bracket right now. We still some out at work, a couple guys and I. We got them all filled up. Okay. Well, uh, is, there any, is there any wagering involved? Ooh, I no, hope so. of course not. We don't gamble. No, nobody does. <laughs> Certainly not. Oh. No. All right, uh, we're going to give you the 215 matchup in the uh, Terry's D region. And you never know with these. Uh, well, let's uh, start with the number two seed. Yeah, you earned this. I was uh, watching you. This is your reward. Your grandma or your mom used to get. Yes. Yeah, see, that's that <laughs> Copper Chef. Eric uh, Thies. Yeah, which I believe is a commercial. Yeah, that, like an infomercial. That's a bit, by the way. It's not just one of the. Co- we have so many of those. So right. the, the collection itself is what's the two. Your oh. mom used to get it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All of the <laughs> Copper Chef bids put together are the two seed going up against the number 15 seed. A big man that can do a lot of different things, blow anything there, make sure that he's hustling, make sure that he keeps on it, sticking their head in there. That's uh, the bogey kid from, I believe, a Pistons post game show, sticking mm-hmm. his head in there. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Did, uh, did hello, little brother, make the NIT bracket or no? Um, well, I believe that it was a three seat in the NIT bracket. Oh, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> and then there's a CBI invitational later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, don't, don't be mad at me for picking this up, but I like the boogie because, uh, I heard that one a lot more and it's a little, it's also a lot funnier to me, but I'm picking the 15th seat this time, guys. No. Oh, wow. No way. Whoa. Wow. Oh, Stony. Mm-hmm. Um, there's two others that I'm more partial to, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is, this this is Hampton is, over Iowa State. This is Syracuse oh, losing Hampton. to Richmond. Roberto's going to cry if this gets eliminated. Oh, no. Listen, I, I, this, is, this is what I'm going to say. This is MSU losing to Middle Tennessee State and the guy with uh, male pattern just, baldness. I love the Copper Chef bits, but I don't no. think the presentation is as effective as the bogey postgame presentation. <laughs> you're going to do i am not going oh to use my, my god veto. and it has happened a 15 has been oh, the two, oh, has been no. the two. No. i never thought it was possible Eric out of the no. tournament no i'm gonna cry <laughs> no my god this is a coward's way out in my opinion this is a coward's way out mm. uh, I, I, that's terrible he's i'm helpless shock. on my own show he's in shock Hey. Oh, my God, he is. He's this catatonic is, right this now. This is Hampton beating <laughs> Iowa State. Right. I, I said, yes, exactly. How much it's time stunning. Roberto spends on those bits? It's but stunning. But you understand by me, by presentation, you couldn't get the whole flavor of Are it. Are you dipping? <laughs> I'll explain a little bit later in the program why I didn't execute the veto. Oh, and okay? I tell you what, this the ticket is... texters are not happy with I, it. I you know what? That's, yeah, I understand. But, yeah. but hold on. See... You guys are like Jim Caldwell saving your timeouts. Can I ask a question? May I raise my hand and ask a question? Yes. Yeah. And I'm only asking. I mean, how do I not get a veto? Like, how do I not get one? Oh. You told us to run the tournament. I, we well, used no, to run. wait a minute. Oh, no, now, hold fair. on. That's hold fair. on. How about this? Can we just play one full Copper Chef? Yes. In case that changes anyone's mind. The no, best well, one no, we got. I, I to, well, hold on. I, I actually believe I offered Valeni a veto when we discussed this last okay, week. that's fine. I believe I did. Okay. So, how, but Bro, let's right, Here's what I want, Roberto. We have a review. 
You better play the best one you we, we got. You better. Got the you, one. It better be numero uno because if I can't get a vote from these two, <laughs> I can't. You can't help me. <laughs> you mm-hmm. All right, number three. All right. Yep. Eric Thies is here to tell us all about it. Take a look at that. Okay. <laughs> this is how hard it is on its own. Gosh, look at how much. I did nothing. Oh, I got look a mushroom this. there. Hang on. That's, that's a great fantastic. tip. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. Oh gosh. All right, here we go. Do it faster. <laughs> Faster and easier. Are is you that serious? This is my biggest weakness. <laughs> yeah, you earned this. I was oh. watching you. This is your reward. Your grandma or your mom used to get. Yes. Oh my gosh. It just falls out as we're taking it out. Mm. And I just want to show you this. <gasps> Take, stay with me there, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Look, look, look. My mouth is watering so <laughs> Quite honestly, when you can do one finger, we don't leave you hanging. It's black, and I know that's always popular. <laughs> but if that's you incredible. look at the white meat. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Juicy, Juicy, moist. tender, delicious, and moist. Look oh at that. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Why don't we do that more often? Mm. <laughs> I, need, I need to take a shower. I mean, Whoa. Now listen. Wow. You guys do it the way you want to do it. I just think it's a shame to lose that so early in the tournament. I, I agree that it's a shame. Stoney, here's what I'm going to propose. Me and you decide right now, can we give... Valenia veto, and he can do whatever he wants with it. And my feelings aren't hurt either way. I had to ask, though. That's it's all. his show. No, 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 no. And no, no, and I, did, and I did offer him one last week when we talked about it. We said there was, each person gets a veto. He did bring tomatoes pizza. Yeah, and other butters. He is playing Springsteen bumpers for me. Yes. <laughs> well, we yes. don't even know what he'll, if he'll use the veto. We Six said. more we inches. There's, just... a, there's other ones that are, I think... Equally, or if not more, deserving of a veto. That's the problem. That's I'm. I'm. You know. I, you're right. I'm going to be Jim Caldwell, and you have time out saved. Uh, but you know what? You can use the veto whenever you'd like oh, yeah. in, in the first two rounds. Doesn't have to be now. But if you want to use it now, you Michael, I, I, feel free. Okay. Um, I'm just scanning the field because mm-hmm. I think Stoney makes a great point. Mm-hmm. You know what? Hmm. Your mom used to get it. Thesis is back in the field. Whoa! 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 Are you dipping? Eric Thies! You're damn right we are. See, now Bitter Bogey's going to come in at 6 o'clock since he got eliminated early. Thanks a lot. Please. I had I had to save it. Now, Roberto, I can't save you no more. Yeah, you're on your own now, I'm Mr. out. I'm, I am donezo. It is these two from here on out. Don't look at me with those puppy dog eyes. <laughs> oh, thank God. Here to remind you about Buffalo Wild Wings happy hour, late night happy hour. You know the concept. Grab your friends and go to your nearest P-dubs. Score specials on apps starting at 4 bucks. Michael, Be- can I interrupt you real quickly? Of course. This is great. The person who made the pick, Anthony, has texted back and said he didn't realize the entirety of the bit and he would have taken Copper Chef. Well, then we made it right. Then we made it right. After review, Good. there okay. was a foot on the line. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, they, went, they went to the VAR. Three. Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> Teddy I apologize. Hightower on the official <laughs> call. Don't wait for Friday to get to beat ups. Every Thursday, boneless Thursday, 70 cent boneless wings all day. Pair them with your favorite sauce. I mean, they've only got 21 different varieties. Every Tuesday, wing Tuesday, buy a snack, small size traditional wing, you get one free. So when you're looking for somewhere to go, watch the game, have something good to eat, Buffalo Wild Wings got you covered. Check them out. It's Speed Ups, it's happy hour. It's Buffalo Wild Wings, it's wings, beer, sports. .com. The following is a paid presentation for the Power Pressure Cooker XL. Brought to you by TriStar. Denise, take a look at what I've just done. This right here is saying, oh, look at no the meat. No way. Something in there for everybody. Yeah, you got that right. Not rubbery, not dry. Take a look at that meat. Gorgeous. This is big, you guys. Just take a look on the internet and you'll see how big it is. Like my Mexican sausage. Ooh. Feel that texture. Look how hard this is. That's not hard at all. <laughs> so first what I did is I put the meat in. Oh yeah, let me do this right. And just remember, I did it in 20 minutes. This looks amazing. Mm-mm. Is that crazy good? Wow, that, there's still more in there. Yeah, you got that right. It's not clumpy or stuck together. No splatter, no mess. It smells so good. You know, I'm in heaven. Pounded with flavor. Mm. Oh. Incredible, baby. Incredible. This incredible offer will end without notice. So call or click today. Look how cocky they are for getting in the second round. Copper Chef is running up the score now yep. because they pulled it out with the use of a veto. And the people, have, uh, people are just rolling in here.
Oh, I mean, no, they're it's... very excited. Now, we have to figure something out here, Michael, because Anthony texted back in and said if he had known it was that full one, he would have picked it. So they want you to get your veto back, like picking up the red flag, the red challenge flag, because it technically wasn't needed. But this we specifically been... explained it was the collection right. of everything. We set, we specified yes, that. This is not the Dallas-Detroit playoff game. The veto is used. The veto has still been used. Tournament I'm sorry. is ruined. Terrible choice. Worse that it didn't get vetoed. I'm turning the show off. Hey! Copper Chef simply can't be out. Somebody punched that guy. No, with 27 O's after it. The chef getting knocked out as a buster. That's the best damn thing I've ever heard, Rich in Phoenix. All right. Uh huh. Well, let's, I, let's get some more games. They're in. very happy you vetoed. All right, mm-hmm. Bob, I want you to lead, correct? No, I believe Stoney goes Stoney, first. Stoney, you're time, leading. Yep. Hamsey uh-huh. is on a cell. Take him to the next game. Who's this, Hamzy? Hamzy. Hamzy. We're going to the uh, the second deck region, I believe. How you doing, Hamzy? What's up, guys? How's it going? It's going wonderful. Mm-hmm. All right. This is a, you know, as all eight, nine matchups are, very tight matchup. Mm. And for this one, uh, we go to the uh, the old, the, the, the new Boston Garden. What are they, TD Waterhouse Garden? Is that what they call it? Anyway, here we go. Mm. The Stoney's eight, rambling. The eighth seed. <laughs> Because you know we're about to give you something hard and black. Oh, boy. <laughs> Go, going up against okay. the ninth seed. That's how you get eaten out. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. That, that is, is a toughie. That, that is a toughie. Tough and it's so tough. I, Michael, oh. could you line up eight and nine and play them back-to-back again for Hamzy? I think Hamzy has the most pressure of any selection thus so far. far. Yep. Hamzy. Of course, I get the tough one. Yeah, the so eight, ahead, the eight seed is. Because you know we're about to give you something hard and black. And the nine seed. That's how you get eaten out. Mm. Mm. That's Terry Foster, hard and black, and Rod Allen eaten out. At Adam, e- Adam Eaton out. Second deck. Adam Eaton. Now, the winner of this um, matches up with Rod Allen. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So what do you say there, Hamzy? I, All the pressure. I think, I think the, uh, to set up the next matchup, second deck versus Eaton out. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it would be a great match. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good choice. Rod Allen versus Rod Allen in so round two. Adam Eaton out advances? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Hard and black is gone? Already? I mean, uh, the second round matchup is going to be great. I mean, come on. That, that's a, that was a coin flip. Survived, uh, that, survived by a hair. There will be people <laughs> upset with that. There should be people upset well, with that. Well, it's an 8-9 matchup. Of course, somebody's got to lose. What's the matter with people? Well, Let's then, go. Then Hard and Black got screwed in the seeding, I think. Yes, it did. Yeah. It did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take it to the next game, Bob. Yeah, all right. Take Jeff. He's in Detroit. Jeffrey, are you ready? What's going on, guys? Jeffrey, how are you, sir? Fantastic. Um, Glad to be a part of this, this, this glorious day. Thank you for being part of the glorious day. You also get a tough 8-9 matchup. Ooh, in the um, elitist region, got to run a tough <laughs> game. These are the prime time games now. This one is in the uh, in Oklahoma City. It's the eight nine matchup of the elitist region. It is the number eight seed. D'Antoni. D'Antoni. D'Antonio. That's the ode to uh, Michigan State coach Mark Dan Antonio <laughs> going up against the number nine seed. He's the coach at MSU. Much respect. He is due. Mac D'Antoni. Mac D'Antoni. Mac D'Antoni. Uh, D'Antoni. You hear his name all the time. Read it in the headlines. Mac D'Antoni. Oh my God, is that a toughie, Jeff? I have no idea what you're going to do here. Wow, and I'm a Sparty too, man. So this one hits close to home. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the upset. I, uh, I'm going with Mac D'Antoni song. Wow. Good wow. choice. Good choice. Wow. You know, I, I couldn't argue either one. I think they're both excellent. And they're both incredibly uh-huh. disrespectful. It's perfect. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Mike. Yes, uh, Jeff, believe me. They're I mean, both please. playing in the locker room before the Michigan game this year. <laughs> <laughs> Stoney, take him to the next game. Annie is in Livonia. Annie, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. It's so good to hear you guys together in the afternoon again. Well, thank, thank you, Annie. Annie. Um, yeah. Well, you sound like uh, an elite type of person. We're going to go to the elite, I, the elitist for sure. region. Sure, I All went right. to Michigan. Uh, of course, you, you know <laughs> it. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. <laughs> well, she admitted it. The five twelve matchup. We have the fifth seed. T-shirt time. T-shirt time. 
Tom, <laughs> Tom Gore, some T-shirt time. Yep, classic, sure. Going up against the 12th seed and upset-minded. Everybody clap your hands. It's just delicious. Everybody clap your hands. It tastes so good. Everybody clap the old Caputo, Caputo Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. Oh, that's a toughie, oh. Annie. Mm. You know, I, I'd like to hear Caputo a little less. So I'm going to go for the Gorris t Yes. Oh, yes, my. Annie. Yes, Annie. Oh, I think, that <laughs> was, I think that was the most Valenny has been rooting for a game the entire tournament. <laughs> wow. That's yes, Annie. Annie. I love you. Thanks, Annie. That's, yeah, why, that's why Gores was a five seed and Caputo a 12. We're good. Right. Yeah, excellent seeding there. We got to start winning. Down goes Caputo. <laughs> T-shirt time's the best. We're not winning, so we have to make a... We're good. We got to adjust something. You know, <laughs> it's a shame we didn't have Annie select the 8-9 uh, in the, uh, the second the second deck. We got to win. Who knows what she would have picked? I know. We got a superstar. All right, sorry. All right, carry on. <laughs> that Should would have been a tough one for yes. her. Exactly, well, just, go yeah. to, I'm sorry. Go to bed. I was, that may as well have been the Spartans playing. I was rooting so hard I could hard tell. I could go tell. To, go to Ben. All right, Ben in Hazel Park. How are you, Benjamin? Good. How are we doing, fellas? Uh, right. Excellent, Ben. Um, uh, we're going to take you to the um, Siren region. For one of those 413 matchups, they look like blowouts, but you never know, all right? The Siren okay, region, first of all, the number four seed. Sorry, I assumed the Penn State Michigan game was a night game. <laughs> That's Stone, Stony blowing his stack in the morning show. Going up against the number 13 seed. Horse racing time! <laughs> That's a Valenny's little favorite, his little horse racing <laughs> ode. What Ooh, do you say there? That is tougher than I was expecting from a 413. You know what? I'm going with number four, though. That back and forth is too good to let go. Yeah, yep, I, yep, I agree. I, I agree. agree. Hearing Stoney melt down and almost hit a coworker <laughs> is uh, it's poetry. <laughs> ben, you did the right thing. I think the listeners are doing a great job so far. Yeah. I haven't disagreed with Sorry, I assumed many. the Penn State Michigan game was a night game. Plus, that drop deserves extra credit because it not only is a standalone, but it spawned its own bit when Roberto did the couples counseling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, right. I don't, did, did, did you guys used to like, like weight things like that or no? No, it's no. really what the listeners um, believe okay. and um, what we think they like. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. Stoney, if you would, Russ is in Chesterfield. Take Ru- him to the next battle. Russ, how are you? Very good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. What's going on in Chesterfield today? Uh, just doing a little painting. All right. Well, mm, hopefully good. you can paint us the right winner here as you uh, you paint this 6-11 matchup. Uh, the sixth seed. All I want to hear. Oh. Here come the Tigers. Hey! <laughs> Come on! Here come the Tigers. I keep saying it, and uh, I'm not going to stop saying it. Craig uh, Monroe Simo. Live from the camera well. This is a toughie. Going against the 11th seed and upset minded. Hogwash. Dungeon of Doom when I walk into that room. We have to check the report. Check the report. The Caldwell Christmas. The Caldwell Christmas album. Now, that's part of the entire album, right? Correct. There's more songs, too. Correct. Right? Yes. The totality. Of right. It. If Russ needed an extended play, I know Sully could offer that. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, you know, it's uh, DMX versus Caldwell. Uh, mm. I got to go with the dark man. I want to get rid of Caldwell all the way. He's gone. Wow. So wow. Stick around for that. All right. Um, Call's been made. Yes. Craig Monroe. Craig Monroe. Monroe. Uh, Live from the camera well. I'm, I'm, only, I'm, only, I'm, only five more wins, and he I'm, wins the belt. I'm a little confused. You said you want to go with the dark one? I, yeah. I, I was too. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, narrow it down a little bit more, yeah, please. What, is, what does that mean, Russ? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm confused by that one. Oh, That's good a- time to tell you about O'Reilly. Uh, <laughs> Remember how well your brakes used to work? <laughs> Those people? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Come on. No, no. Come no. on. <laughs> I, I got to sell some brake pads over here. What does the matter with you people? Those people might make the next <laughs> your next tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you. That's one of the all-timers. All right, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Summer break deals event. Take advantage of O'Reilly's do-it-right rebate. You get a $25 O'Reilly gift card by mail. All you got to do is you buy a set of Brake Best Select pads and a pair of rotors. It's O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's better parts. Better prices every day.
All right, welcome back. So it is the Stoney and Wojo Invitational. If you're just joining in, you're oh, like, yeah. what the hell is going on? It's simple. Uh, Stoney and Wojo have joined me, and they are executing their grand bracket. All of our drops on one side, all of our songs and bits on the other mm-hmm. is a classic uh, all-time Detroit radio bit. And we thank you for allowing us to share yeah. it with you. Uh Hatchet, Roberto, and Sully. We affectionately the whole call the minions. Exciting afternoon. And of course, the the listeners. Uh, we appreciate the ones who've been around for a long, long time when we were a lot younger, and the ones who've been with this this radio station for years and years following your great career. Yeah, Michael. and tune in tomorrow when we play a What's Your Beef? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I wish, if there was one drop that we could have included from your old show, it was when you were screaming about uh, Tommy Lee did me and all that oh, stuff. Oh, the pyramid? <laughs> we, should, we should play the pyramid. <laughs> what about, what about, I'm asking the fans out there, Wojo! That was one of my favorites. Are you prepared? Mm-hmm. Are you yes, ready? we're ready to go. Um... Let's go to the next game. Ed has been waiting patiently. He's in Sterling Heights. Edward, how are you? Hey, guys. How you doing? Good, Ed. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, Ed. We take you to the second deck region. Second deck. Mm. Yes. Where we're going to go with the the five seed. He starts to come, and then he pulls out. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, no. Going up against the – that was Troy Aikman, of course. Going up against the 12th seed and upset minded and excited. Breaks it up and tackles the 10. Dan Deardorff. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know what happens with a 5 and a 12 seed often, but this time the 5 seed prevails. Thankfully. Woo! Yeah. That, Woo! He starts to come and then he pulls yeah, out. Yeah, that yeah, that, yeah, that you, really you scared was, me a little no, bit. No, that, that was mm. a battle of sports gasms. Because the Deardorff one, <laughs> pretty much, Deardorff yeah. changed his pants after that. That mm-hmm. was Vincent Smith versus BYU. Roll that back one more time and tell me that doesn't sound like you know someone's wedding night. Breaks another oh! tackle with the ten. Oh! Breaks another oh! tackle with the ten. That was, that was awesome. That is good. <laughs> Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman. Watch out for Troy Aikman. How do you beat Troy Aikman there? I, mean, let's I, be th- I think he's going to be tough to beat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tough to beat. It's the best read option description I've ever heard. Oh, I know. Absolutely. Hilbert mm-hmm. is in Lincoln Park up next. Hello there, Hilbert. How you doing? Good. Are you ready for a match up there, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Well, it's time to do another one seed. Let's take you to the Terry's D region. All right. For the 116 matchup, first of all, the number one seed. You want to talk about my D? Terry's talking about his D. Hard and black. Hard and black. It's not hyperbole. Terry's talking about his D. We're on the big D, man. It's you know like what? Hyperbole did make it in in that <laughs> draw, in that song. That's so true. Hyperbole is in. Uh, and going up against the 16 seed when Tony Ortiz was awarded a Lions game ball, this is uh, the 16 seed. Tony got the game ball! He got it from Coach Caldwell! It was so overwhelming! He had a jacket! Wow. What do you say there, sir? Uh, I want to say... Tony D is uh, number one for a reason. I gotta go with the number one seed. Absolutely. You want to talk about my D? Terry's talking about his D. Hard and black. Hard and, black. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm telling you, that that is the that, that's du- a classic. That's a that that is Duke. I, that's a Duke team no, with four is. first round picks. I do want to say that is one of the best. Well, I said that about the other one, but that is a great 16th seed, by the way. No, it is. That is a and very, a very nice gesture. song. Yes. Very nice gesture. Tony gave Terry the game ball after the, <laughs> after the game for winning. One over 16. <laughs> good job. All no, right. that is a very good 16 seed. Go to the next game. Tyler Chesterfield up next on the ticket. Tyler, what's up, bud? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Right. Uh, I get two Chesterfieldians in a row. Whoa. What would you call them, Mojo? You would call them what? Chesterfield Ganders. Exactly. All right. We have an 8 9 matchup for you, Tyler. The Siren region is the spot. Here we go. The 8 9. Oh, this is a battle mm. of one person. Kermit the Frog. We love to call him oh. the hardest working man at this radio station. The A seed. I love Coke. That would be <laughs> Jeff Rieger. Hmm. Going to up to the ninth seed. I'm hard. 
Jeff oh, Rieger. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Coke Tyler. versus hard. Uh, oh. Exactly. Now, I understand that one can't happen if you'd use the other, but what's that's for another oh, show. My. Really? You know that Six by first hand experience? Yes. Hmm. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tyler, you have a very <laughs> difficult call here. Yeah, I had a tough one filling this out my bracket. Uh, Mike, you might hate me, but I'm going to have to go with I'm hard. I'm hard. I, I can't hate either selection. No, that's a good one. I can't hate either selection. It, mm. it, it's one of those. That's Arkansas, Missouri, one point spread by Johnny mm-hmm. Avella. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it even went to overtime, to be honest. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. you always do if you're doing coke. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> or if you're if you're hard when he says I'm hard. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you get that checked if it goes past four hours. Okay. Yeah, get that exactly. Checked. Oh, good point. Uh, I Oh, fifth dog with an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Ray. Our next game out in Sterling Heights. Go ahead, gentlemen. Hello, Raymond. What's going on, fellas? It's an honor. Oh. My last, my last tournament was the Sony and Mojo Babes tournament where I chose a Brook Shields over Jimmy. And it caused a lot Ooh. of problems with that. that. Brook Shields over who? And, Ray, I think you're still using the same phone you used <laughs> back then. I hate to tell you that. He's on his razor flip. <laughs> Brooke Bro- Shields over who was it? <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee, Jamie Curtis. Lee Curtis. Is Ooh. his phone good enough to to uh, vote? Yes. It is, it is good enough. He is okay, good. Okay, no, he is okay. good. Okay, go okay. I just wanted to check. I wanted to check. Take him to the game. All right, let's go to the, um, the latest region. That's the Jamie region, but this is not a Jamie game. The elitist region uh, will be the... 6-11 matchup. No influencing from the studio in there, please. First of all, the number six seed. Am I so I'm on Instagram. I'm on Periscope. I'm on Facebook, too. At Mike Sullivan. That's uh, at Mike Sullivan, <laughs> Mr. A Social Media himself, the Sully Kid, going up against the e number, number 11 seed. Horse racing talk from two to six. You don't like it, Mike says. Second deck. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. Boring for you, but not for Mike. Horse racing talk with Mike versus wow. Sully. What do you say there? I I hate to do this, Sully, but I got to go with the horse racing bit because it is just, it's too funny when it comes on because it's, <laughs> Radio for one, it's, it's too good. Horse racing talk yeah, right. from two to six. Way to go, you Ray. You like it, Mike says. Second dick. This it is the first you, one for Mike, I really Mike. disagree with. <gasps> yeah, I got to be honest with you. I mean, it's only I'm, 11 over a six, I, but still. I was rooting for it because that's exactly what Friday's going to be, opening day at Saratoga. <laughs> you know we'll have a couple of segments like that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> just, to, just to anger people. Do you want to use your veto power? It's there. No. No, no. I'm not okay. doing it for, right, for a six no. and eleven. No. There's All too right. many other great ones still having to yeah. play. Do yet. you want to fit one more game in? Yeah, Stoney, go. One more. Sure. Right. Stoney, Stoney, Stoney take Todd, he's on a cell. All right, let's go to the uh the Terry's D region, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Todd? Good. How you doing, fellas? Good, thank you. We Good. Are, we appreciate your listenership here and uh we appreciate your selection here with the number five seed. That's the Sirens fight song, basically. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Going up against the 12th seed. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Wow, that's a tough. toughie for a 5 12. Mm. Well, 5 12s are supposed to be tough. Yes, they are. Todd, what, what are you thinking? I think we're going to have to go Boca Raton. Boca wow. Raton. You know what? This, this is like Gonzaga before Gonzaga became uh, cool. Yes. With, with like oh, Matt Hansen. Santangelo at yes. point guard. Yes. I am not oh, vetoing Richie it. From right? Was there a guard named From on that team? I said before the tournament, <laughs> wow. Boca Raton could make a run. I wow. did. Wow. I'm surprised. I, I agree with that one. I, I think don't. that that's a great song. Uh-huh. I am surprised. I mean, listen, 5-12s happen. Yes. It's part of the game. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Every year there's a 5-12. Wow. Mm-hmm. Stody, do you want to veto it? No. Hell no. No, me neither. Gentlemen, you want to, let's get one more in. Okay. We're rolling we're along here. One more? Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get Chris. Take him to the next game. All right, uh, Chris, why don't we go to the second deck region? Uh, it's time for a 4-13 matchup in the second deck region. That's a good one. Yeah, oh, no, this is a dandy. 
And and Stoney has to be quiet. On Chris, this one. you've got tickets to one of the best matchups of the first round. Uh, every now and then, a four and thirteen jumps up on you. Here we go. It's the number four seed. I like snorting cocaine. <laughs> That's um, Stoney uh, going up against the number thirteen seed. I support them and give them food and clothes and cars. That's former Clippers owner Donald Sterling. <laughs> Big Magic Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought that was Stony too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Those people? Those people? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't she Stop. have some minority blood in her, too? Stony. <laughs> it's Stony versus Stony. <laughs> Chris, go ahead. Uh, I got to go with the uh, Coke bit. Yep. I yep. like snorting cocaine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's tough to be. That's beat. tough, it, yeah. It's, it you is. know what? Chris Chris took the blue blood there. That's a drop that has lasted the test of yep. time. Sure it has. <laughs> In different versions, too, over different stations. <laughs> right, and Donald <laughs> Sterling is a little bit dated now, too. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll catch you up on the ticket text, and certainly more first-round matchups. We're about to wrap it up. The Stoney and Wojo Invitational, we got... We're, I mean, people are just piling in. It's a gala event. Uh, Sully, ticket text, please, if you would. 97136. More to come. 971. All right. Well, you may not know, but Xfinity, more than just a great TV and internet provider, ton of other services as well. Xfinity Voice Calling, Home Security, Xfinity Mobile, the brand new Xfinity Mobile, all come with the great same technology and service that you'd expect from Xfinity. Xfinity Mobile, it's designed to save you money, included in your service as well. So if you have Xfinity Internet, you'll automatically get five unlimited lines of talk and text included in your Xfinity Internet service. If you have a family plan, at least go look into Xfinity Mobile because it's going to save you money and the service is going to be very, very reliable. It's going to lower your bill. No doubt about it. It's going to lower your bill from your current provider. And Xfinity's happy to help you out with any transfer fees, any, uh, any questions you have when you transfer as well. Their staff is happy to answer anything and walk you through that process. You can get started today. By calling 1-800-XFINITY, visiting Xfinity.com, or just stopping by an Xfinity store today for more details. Xfinity, TV, Internet, voice calling, home security, and now the brand new Xfinity Mobile. 1-800-XFINITY, Xfinity.com today. What has he done? Can you tell me? Big Magic Johnson, what has he done? Well, yes, he's a business person. He, uh, he's got AIDS. Did he do any business? I like... Did he help anybody in South L.A.? Well, I think he has HIV. He doesn't actually have full-blown AIDS. Right, well, what kind of a guy goes to every city, has sex with every girl, then he catches <laughs> HIV? And is that someone we want to respect and, and tell our kids about? <laughs> that was on national TV. I forgot the depths of that Donald oh, Sterling yeah. interview. He went on Anderson oh. Cooper, Big Magic Johnson. He has AIDS. <laughs> oh, my God. That was his way of fighting back. All right, welcome back. Uh, ticket text quickly, and then we have got to get to these games. Guys, this has brought me back to 1995, my freshman year of high school, and I love it. That's from Aaron. Terry's D is going to take it all the way. Mm-hmm. Great show. I vote to make it an annual event. Roberto's getting golden drops from this show alone. That's a joke. Sully was in my top five. I'm done. Jay on the road. <laughs> my God, I missed the siren song. Boca Raton sucks. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's go right to the game. Controversial. Games. Carl, mm-hmm. Ann Arbor, up next. Carl, go ahead. What's going on, guys? Hello, Carlton. <laughs> Stoney, do you want to give Carlton a game? Yeah, I thought it was you, but that's okay. We'll start. Uh, we'll go with the <laughs> second deck region, ladies and gentlemen. Carlton, can you handle the 215 matchup? Oh, yeah. And it's very appropriate that you are calling from Ann Arbor because we have two of Ann Arbor legends here. <laughs> the, the second seed. Ooh. Yes, he is. The man with the ant. Ooh. Ebony Wojo. Going against the 15th seed. Oh, he is definitely an Ann Arbor lover. Hi, I'm Dave Brandon. <gasps> wow. Oh, God. <laughs> this That's is a toughie. Tough. That's a toughie. Go ahead, Carl. Mm. I got to go with the ooh. I heard the uh, the Dave Brandon drop was recalled by Toys R Us when they went out of business. <laughs> wow, taking it there. Damn. <laughs> Dave Brandon. Tough in these streets. Josh is up next. 
in Wyandotte. Woo. Woo. Josh, Joshua, how are you? I'm still celebrating my victory there. What's going on, Joshua? You there? He ain't anymore. No? Let's go to Nick. <laughs> Nick yeah, is we up wait next. for no one. Well, Joe, take him. Nicholas, are you there? Yes, sir, I am. Hey, uh, long, long, long time listener. As a matter of fact, I just wanted you guys to know that uh, my son was an honored hero of yours during one of your Radiothons. So it's an honor to speak to you guys again. Oh, oh it's thanks. an honor that you called. I'm Thank actually you. wearing an old Radiothon t-shirt. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't say one of your grandsons. That would have made it no, really No, old. no, no. All right, here we go. Oh, You know what, Nick? And this is just by happenstance. You get honored with what I think is one of the great first-round matchups. It is um, It's Hatchet on Hatchet Crime. We head to Uh-oh. the elitist region. Uh, David Hatchetman Hall with the number four seed. He said his people back 50 years, colored his spine. Colored his spine. David said colored his spine. Colored his spine. Hatchet with colored is fine. Going up against, and I think this is an unfair matchup. They're both so good, but going up against the 13 seed. Give him, give him, give me that. Give me my say, medium well. Give him, give him, ah, uh, yeah. Give me my say, medium well. Give him, give him. Nick, this that is, is so this hard. Is brutal. I feel for wow. you, Mr. Wow. Um, oh. mm, yeah. Big. Thanks, guys. Appreciate this one. Yeah. Um, Ugh, I, you know what? I love them both, but whenever you guys play The Colored is Fine, that one sticks in my head, and I, I will be singing it all day long. He said after I hear it. Jeez, colored is fine. Colored is fine. Uh, I, Nick, I'm going to give you some friendly advice. I wouldn't sing colored. that in public. <laughs> no, 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 not out loud, no. Especially in my occupation, it wouldn't be a good good yeah, idea. I, I just did. Yeah, that would not be good in the middle of the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> no, no. Colored is fine. In the produce okay. section. <laughs> it's my steak. Oh, see, my steak medium rare, I'm I'm devastated by that, but at least a medium well is still alive as a drop, right? We yes. We need a veto. We need a veto. No, 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 not going to veto that one because colored is fine is awesome too. I just think it's unfair seating. And it by, is, and by it the is. way, we didn't we didn't tell everybody this, Wojo. The vetoes you can never veto a lower seed. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you couldn't veto like a two beating a fifteen. Right. If a two beating a fifteen <laughs> cannot be ve- used as a veto to, right. to beat a two. Yeah, yeah. Let's get okay. to Chad. He's in Novi. Take him to the next game. Chad, how you doing, buddy? Good. How are you guys? Oh, well, we're wicked awesome, Chad. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> Lord. The 5 12 matchup. This has to be one of my favorite 5 12 matchups here? of all time. Felani <laughs> Rain in your show. Would you cheese? I didn't do anything. Here we go. The fifth seed. <laughs> It'll be Jim Caldwell laughing up against the 12th seed and upset minded. Babcock. Ooh. Pat Caputo. <laughs> That's a toughie. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. I mean, mm. Babcock. Wow. Babcock. Yes. Babcock. I like that. Matt. I like that one a lot. Caldwell eliminated already, and it wasn't it's even been, Bob Quinn that knocked him out this time. It's almost like a, like the Big Twelve <laughs> going to the tournament and going zero and five in the first round. <laughs> Anything Caldwell related has been dismantled. No, you're totally right. The Christmas theme, uh, right? Ma- and everything. Ma- Martha beat beat Caldwell, right? Yeah, I think Decorum Storm is the only thing left. Oh my God! All right, thank you, sir. Wow, Austin is up next. Take him to the next game. All right, Austin, how are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? Good. We're going to take you to the elitist region, if that's okay with you. Yeah, let's do it. And it's the two fifteen matchup. And again, these seem like they should be closer matchups, but I'll just give it to you. Here we go. The number two seed. Stoney's a creep. He stumbles more than Caputo. Oh, what, what, what? He wants Springsteen to say. <laughs> now I want to clarify that this song is Stony is a creepo, not a creeper. Correct. Creepo. Oh, creepo. It's the, the, it's the okay. Despacito remix. Yes. Okay, and he's going up against the 15 seed. There's been three, four different beefs, if you will, during these playoffs. It's been great. I, I never had beef with the boy. You know what I'm saying? He got out of line. As the kids would say, these guys got some air quotes beef. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, oh, Austin, it, Austin it's difficult, but mm-hmm. uh, you're on the spot. All worthy, all worthy clubs here. Ah, I think I'm going to have to go with the 
Stony Creepo. Stony's a Creepo. That's why it's a two seed. It's, it's the right moment. Yeah, and as you made that pick, he was lurking right behind you. It's, it's, it's. I think, I think what set it apart too. The, the one liner in there, the white shoes from Costco, is still <laughs> just. Poetry. Absolutely. By the way, immediate look, glance at the ticket text, they're devastated at the Medium Well song. Being I know. Devastated. I'm devastated, but I used my veto to save Eric Thies. But are you really going to knock out Color Just Fine? For- I would have because, A, I know, I know David hates the Medium Well song. There's, he's irrational about it. And, well, you're like you hate it, even though you think your impersonation of Stephen A. is good. But he couldn't use that veto because it was a thirteen over uh, a four. See, that doesn't seem fair. You're right. I hate the medium well song, but colored is fine. I think needs to retire. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, considering you know you set things back fifty years when you uttered it. Yeah. <laughs> Donald, St- Donald Sterling liked that song. What has he done? Yeah. He has AIDS. That's <laughs> 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 just the that. You know what's crazy though? Like that was real. I know. Like you play it right. years later, and you think you're playing it off of like a TV show, like Always Sunny or something. That was a real it's NBA. It's like a Saturday Night Live skit. I give him food and clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. I support them and give them food and clothes and cars. Big Magic Johnson. Sounds like Snaggle puts greetings and salutations. salutations. I'm not incompetent. You're incompetent you stupid he's got aids <laughs> <sighs> all right more to come we fin it now listen one two three four close? five six and we are done with the first round yeah we're very close next segment we wrap the first round preview the second round and then we really get some of the uh, there is a second round matchup that i think requires mm. maybe a, a, a segment on its own mm. i'll mm-hmm. say that mm-hmm. you wouldn't update your kitchen or put an addition on without a detailed plan so don't treat your landscaping any different call 800 36 miller let the pros at miller design install and then maintain a beautiful landscape for you jeremy's team will come out listen to what you want and then make it happen just that simple starts with a great design though they do it best, the 3D landscape design. You can check out examples at GetMillerNow.com. And it's never been so easy. No hard-to-read blueprints, no silly drawings on pencil and paper. It's a 3D design rendering of whatever your project is going to be, and they will match it. Before you cut a check, before a shovel hits the dirt, call 800-36-MILLER today. That's 800-36-MILLER. Or go check them out on the web at GetMillerNow.com. Ninety-seven one. All right, speed round it. We are wrapping the first round mm. of the Stony and Wojo Invitational. Uh, we'll get ticket text momentarily. Preview the second rounders, but guys, we got work to do. Yeah, yeah. Out tonight. Oh God! Trouble in the hot. Oh, go ahead. Well, that's a treat. Stony's uh, a creepo. Let's go. <laughs> I want to take it right to Jay. We got to get these games done. Jay, go ahead. How's it going, guys? Good, Jay. How are you? Doing well. All right, we're going to give you a, a a great matchup here in the elitist region. Oh, this oh, is, oh no, this is amazing. It is. Um, we'll start with the 16 seed and a guy I worked with for a long time, and is I, I'm looking at right now the Ooh. 16th seed. Whoa, geez, here to. Uh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Versus. The top seed, who I work with every morning from 6 to 10 right at this very radio station. He sits right here. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the top seed. What did you say? His dad is Mr. Rose Bowl. Elitist. Elitist. Game is down the right conceded. Watch where you're going. Starbucks coffee. Jamie wow. the Elitist. That's what the uh, the region was named for. The powerhouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a tough call, but you got to give it to Jamie. Uh, that's that's a classic. Absolutely, yeah, that is a that's classic. That's why it's a one seed. There's there's no doubt about it. It's it's North Carolina. You know, prime five first round. Picks. We've finished our okay, first wait, region first. If round I games. can speak on behalf of Wojo's, there he was underseeded at sixteen, wasn't he? No, no. Oh come on, no, not in that case. There are All stronger right, Wojo uh, things All out right, there. All right, whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the next game. Mm-hmm. Brian in Waterford. Hey, Brian, how are things in Waterford? <laughs> Brian, you there? He's not anymore. Nope. Let's go to Thayer up next. 
Thayer. Hey guys. Thayer. Uh, if I could just make a quick just just a quick thing that's been on my mind. I think the conversations got absolutely screwed in this tournament. They had no representation. You had Rod Allen and talking to Frank Lucas, Terry <laughs> blowing up his barbecue, mm. all, like, all of these things that just yeah. got in my mind, just totally, completely snubbed. Maybe next year you have a, a bracket with just the, the conversation. The selection committee yeah. did a bad job, yeah. Thayer. I mean, what, what are you going to say? Duly noted. I, uh, I, I just ha- I just had to get that off my chest. Yep, guys. Fair I, will, I will give you your blue magic top of the hour, okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Thank All right. you very much. Appreciate that. Thayer, do you mind <laughs> if we go to the uh, Terry's D region? Uh, sure. For the 413 matchup, oh, it's a couple of heavyweights. The number four seed. McCann put a charge into that one. Thanks, big fella. Second, 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 second deck. That's the second deck song going up against the number 13 seed. I'm I'm done with this. I'm not doing this all day. Now, that's when Sully and Lesson went out on a golf on the download, right? On the download. And the secret golf out. You've got terrible sound effects, but some searing vocals yeah, from David. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. No. Thayer, go ahead. You mm-hmm. see, this one to me is easy. I mean, as good as Second Deck is and how great that whole show was, I remember it vividly. You can't beat the vocals of David. Mm. You just can't. No. And it moves on. Wow. It is. It's I'm angelic. Of that song. Come on. And it has happened. I have violated the rules of golf. Violated the rules of golf intensely. <laughs> By the way, that sets up a second round matchup between a 13 and a 12 I know. seed. Wow. Uh, listen, wow. I, I, Thayer chose the quality Golfing there. Golfing versus Boca Raton. Hey, hit the, get ready for the siren. I've golfed in Boca Raton. Unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to Phil. He's up next. Take him to the next game. Phil. Yeah, I'm here. How are you? Let's do it. All right. We're going to uh, stay in this region, the Terry's D region. Uh, are you familiar with the Ann Arbor, Michigan? Uh, vaguely. I don't really like them out there. All right. Well, you have two <laughs> of uh, Ann Arbor and the University of Michigan's great graduates. We assume they both graduated. Uh, we have the hmm. number three seed. 11 minutes before <laughs> showtime. Whoa, Joe walks in. You don't got to go not even fair. What exactly are you so busy with? Uh, and against the uh, <laughs> the, the 14th seed and uh, uh, something that people thought was going to be a higher seed. Well, will Harbaugh Tough. overachieve and beat Wojo? What do you hmm. think? Hmm. Yeah, I got to go with the upset on that one. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. So wait. See, that's bias. Just he said he doesn't like Ann Arbor, doesn't like Michigan. That's bias. It doesn't it matter. That song is better. So you're saying Harbaugh finally beat a ranked opponent yeah, then. Yeah, and you didn't play the best part of the song when Roberto does the emotional Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, you guys have the veto I'm power. I'm not vetoing that. I think you I leave can't it. veto that. And, All right. And you know what? Let me just say, on. I'm truly honored to lose to Harbaugh. <laughs> I be, yeah, yeah, I'm sure yeah, things yeah. are nice and moist over there. Yeah. Let's go to Rick. <laughs> 97. Come on. Rick, you're up next. Hey, guys, what's up? Hello, Richard. No, ask me. My name is Eric. Eric. Oh, Eric. Eric. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. What's up, Wojo? What's up, Stoney? <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. Uh, so, all right, can I give you a game? It is my yep, turn, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Let's get it moving okay. here. In the Siren region, oh, this is a blockbuster showdown. We have the number two seed. Colored is fine. Colored is fine. Going up against oh. the number 15 seed. What happened? Greg Kelser wondering what happened. What do you say there? I, l- I like the number two seed. Abs- Good choice, Eric. Absolutely. Even though the Kelso one is classic, it's not as clearly enunciated. No, I mean, you're, you're talking just that's that's again. That's, yeah, that's a that's blowout. a premium selection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need to get two more in quickly. We go to Kyle to the next game. All Stony. right, Kyle, how you doing, bud? Good. How are you? All right, Siren Region three versus fourteen. The three seed. Hey, 
Hey. Yeah, we know that one. Up against the 14th seed. Thank you for moving the community. So tough. Wow. Mm. Kyle, tough call. Mojo Gores. I tell you, I tell you what, it's, this is a defensive battle. It's like a Wisconsin-Virginia game in my mind. Uh, <laughs> Tony Bennett versus Tony to Bennett with, Senior. Going to have to go with three seeds. Hey! hey. It's, it's, it's tough to deny it. Hey, look at me in the second round. Hey. It's tough to deny it. All right, last game of the first Here round. Here we go. Let's close Nate out the first round. In Waterford. Go ahead. Nathan, are you ready guys, there in Waterford? Yes, I am, sir. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right. You're sending the last team to the Elite 32 in the second deck region. It's the 314 matchup. This is another toughie. Oh, man. The number three seed. Let the bitch walk! Mm. Let the young lady walk. That's Terry. <laughs> Going up against the number 14 seed. Six more inches. That's Dan Dickerson wow. um, uh, describing something. How do you choose, Nate? Mm-mm-mm. Date, you got a I, tough choice. It, it, I, it's a very tough choice, but I, because I miss Terry so much, I have to get Terry to win. Yep. yep. Let the there bitch you go. walk! It's fair. And we will miss six more inches. Yeah. We but will. That, that was one of the moments of 2015 <laughs> oh, yeah. when that took place. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think Nate made the right call there. Good call, Nate. All right. Mm-hmm. First round's done. Guys, marinate on it, ruminate on it. We preview the second round and we bring back a conversation requested by a listener that we haven't played in a while. <laughs> Rod Allen in American Gangster. We know you're going to enjoy that. We know Rod's a big fan. Hey, Tito's Handmade Vodka, original craft vodka since 95. Tito Beverage, yes, that's his real name, uh, built his own micro distillery and, well, whoops, produced some of the best vodka in America. Uh, Bottom line, they're winning every award you can get. Double gold medal at the World Spirits Competition, Chairman's Trophy, World's Best Vodka Tonic, and many, many others. Look, modest paper label, simple bottle, kick-ass vodka. Tito's Handmade Vodka, still made the same way where it all started in Austin, Texas. Visit titosvodka.com. You'll find recipes for brunch beverages, evening martinis, or whatever the hell an American mule is. How-to videos, upgrade your at-home bar and more. Again, it's summer. Gather your friends, your family. Make sure to grab the vodka of choice. Tito's Handmade Vodka. Pick it up anywhere. Uh, And if your liquor store doesn't have it, your liquor store sucks. It's Tito's Handmade Vodka, crafted to be savored responsibly. I got a problem because I don't understand why you got to take something that's perfectly good and mess it up. I see all these beautiful ballparks. How can I get my lawn to look like that? Blue Magic. All right, here we go. That's a brand name. Like Pepsi, that's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. Because they have the knowledge I need and the products to support it. When you chop my dope down, the one, two, three, four, five percent, and then you call it Blue Magic. Look at you, that's a flashback. That is trademark infringement. You understand what I'm saying? That's good advice. You can make enough money off it the way it is just by calling it Blue Magic. Anything more than that is greed, son. Thanks, big fella. I don't care. Just don't let me catch you doing this again. (laughs) All right. Ticket text. The Stony Wojo Invitational. Uh, round one complete. We'll preview round two. People flocking to make selections. Mm-hmm. Uh, David's voice is heavenly. He is Black Jesus. That's Whoa. from JP. Wow. How is golfing on the down low seated so low? You'd have to ask the committee. Did the Troy Aikman drop get snubbed? No, Tyler, it didn't. Suck Ooh. a dick! He starts to come and then he pulls out. It won its first round matchup. Sure did, easily. Wojo work from home was a classic. What an upset. Heartbreak. Mm. Mm. Uh, where's Kabara that's Goya? A, that's the only upset Harbaugh's actually had. Uh, oh, yes, we pointed boy. that out. Stoney, stop it now. Yeah, still waiting for Wojo to acknowledge they haven't won a road game against a ranked team since 2006. 0 oh, and 16. I think that one was on the road. Good. <laughs> it was at your house. Yeah. Right. Good <laughs> idea for next year's bracket. Sully challenges. Spend the next year getting him to do challenges like the one chip and the punchki challenge. No, because it almost killed Sully, and mm. we had to have the doctor from WWJ come over and check him out. Oh, no. Oh, really? It was terrible. Oh, no. He got so sick. Ghost peppers with Sully. Ugh. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, before we get more of the games, spotlight it. Well, I will say this. In our Elite 32, a couple of matchups jump out. I mean, we'll get right to it. I love the 5-4 matchup in the elitist region. It'll be the five-seed uh, Goris' T-shirt song versus the fourth-seeded 
Colored is Fine song. That is a major, major showdown. And the other one that I really like in the second round, uh, I think is going to be a thriller, believe it or not, is the um, the 7-2 matchup in the Terry's D region, the Copper Chef bits against the Siren Song, the Mike's Siren Song. Stoney, give me a matchup that you are looking forward to here in round two. Uh, the 4-5 matchup in the, uh, the second deck between... Um, me liking Coke and Troy Hickman. I, well, yeah, I was going to... How about That's how, a big one, too. I, yeah. I think the best matchup of the second round, and yeah. it's a possible chance for a one seed to go down, would be the second deck region, the one seed, and maybe the top overall seed in our tournament, second deck taking on Eaton Out. Ooh, yes. That is... Go- I'm telling you, that's a live eight seed. That's like Chris Thomas and Notre Dame taking out number one seed Duke. I thought Terry's Hard and Black would have had a better shot against second deck, to be honest with you. But we'll see. We'll see. Tough that's matchup. why they play the game. They play you know? zone. Um, <laughs> um, now, Sully, how do you, are, are you prepared? Yeah, we're can ready. We, can we yep. get, get in the mix here? Absolutely. I, I'll kick it off here in the All second right, half, let's okay? let's do it. In the second um, round. Ken yes. is out in Davison. Ken, you get to kick off the second round. Welcome. Kenneth, right. don't be nervous. You you are about to send the first team to the Sweet 16. Are you ready, Kevin? All right, I'm ready. All right, from the second deck region. It's the 1-9 matchup that I believe Valenny was just talking about. Mm. Listen closely, Kenneth. It is the number one seed. Second deck. Going up against the number nine seed. That's how you get eaten out. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh gosh, this is tough, guys. That's a lot of pressure, Ken. And it's both Rod Allen's. It mm. is both Rod Allen. Mm. You know what? I gotta go with second deck. There you go, second deck. Second deck. Class, mm-hmm. class <laughs> prevails as second deck moves on. You know, it's all you know, from a male perspective. That's more important. Well, no, it's all perspective. Do you oh like second deck God. or do you like eating out? And he took second deck. <laughs> I mean, six what? more inches. <laughs> it's truly. Personal preference, I would think. Exactly. All right. Six more inches. <laughs> oh, Terry Mills. All right. Uh, <laughs> Mills? <laughs> oh, yes. We've got it all. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I just can't believe how ridiculous T. Mills sounds. A guy hits a shot, and that's his response. <laughs> You, you, have use, you have to use some chef drops next year. Oh, we've got a few. Oh, yeah. Mm. From the Michigan Broadcast, of course. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I, would, mm-hmm. I would never want to disrespect such a serious sports cast. Maybe you can get clips of them when they beat uh, Michigan State one of these years, huh? Give me mm. some stats. Mm. Let's go All to right. my whiteboard, Rubes. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's next? I don't know. You. No, I know I'm next. Ryan. I need to name you the caller. Ryan's oh, gotcha. up next. What's, what's up, Ryan? Ryan. Ryan, how you doing, buddy? Hey, let's get down to business, boys. All right, we're going to stay on the second deck region. Here we oh. go. The 4-5 matchup. Oh, Jesus. We're going to go right down the line here. The five seed from the Dallas Cowboys and Fox Sports. He starts to come, and then he pulls out. Oh, Troy. Against, oh, no. Against the fourth seed, and he was weird in college. Oh, that was me. I like the snorting cocaine. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. That's a toughie. How is that Man, a second-round matchup? That is really tough. Mm. Oh. Mm. I got to go with Stoney. <gasps> got to go with Stoney on this oh. one. I like the snorting cocaine. Oh, my Troy God. Aikman is out? Oh, yeah. The, the, Troy Aikman's out. There's Sorry, a veto boys. available. He starts to come, and then he pulls out. Don't forget, no. you can use a veto in this round. Don't don't use it on me, please. Don't use it on me. Ryan begging for his selection in front of the oracles of brackets. Gentlemen. Ryan, we're going to ask you to explain this further. Why do you prefer Stony Coke over Troy Aikman pulling out? I, I mean, I just got to go with Stony. Got to go with the Coke. You know, got to go with the good time, you know? Mm. I mean, when you pull out, it's never good, right? Oh, my. He's begging for Coke. <laughs> Listen, I he makes an argument. I'm not going to argue against it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm stunned. I, I and think I'm very close to vetoing myself here. Yeah, well, but if I'm going to veto myself, there's another one I'm going to save it for. So, uh, but it's a four selfish. or five matchup. So, yeah. I, I'm, gentlemen, you have to make the call. It's your bit. This is your. This Mike, is your how production. devastated are you with Troy Aikman being withdrawing? I mean, it's it's the equivalent of MSU losing to Middle Tennessee State. I think it's it's. 
Look, the Aikman drop, I, I think it's it's poetry. It's one of the, the, the... But I don't have veto rights. It doesn't matter. My, your facts don't have time for my feelings. That's right. He used his veto up already, Will. You do? I you, well, I needed to get these I know. through because Roberto was going to cry. Yeah, well, You know yeah. what? I... I want to veto it, but I, I, I'm, I'm just, I can't. He starts to come, and then he pulls oh, out. He's, Farewell, he's Troy, 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 Troy. Especially with how many high seeds are still left in the tournament. It's a 4-5 yeah. match. I know. Right. And I it's know. surprising that, well, at least to me, that uh, at least the seeds weren't reversed on that. Yeah, one. good point there. Yeah. Just a stunning result, but that's it's what stunning. the tournament's about. I guess, yeah. you know, not. I mean, by seeding, it, it was chalk. You know what? The Troy Aikman drop was like with those Michigan State teams that everyone picked before the tournament. Yeah. Just because they were on a roll, and then it didn't happen. Let's yeah. go to the next game. I, yeah. I that's that's going to be one the crowd will want to discuss. Mm-hmm. Mike's and Warren. Mikey, go ahead. Hey, love the show, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for calling there, Michael. We're going to keep you in the second deck region as we uh, go region by region now. And it is the um, it's a six three matchup. Oddly enough, the number six seed. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> going up against the number three seed. Let the bitch walk! Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I hate to say it. I was hoping I could give you one of these, like, they put up a three-pointer from the uh, half-court line, and, and it was like a, a buzzer beater, but let that bitch walk, boys. Well, yeah, there yeah. it is. That's, let the bitch walk! That's yeah. a 20-point blowout there, Mike. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You know what I say to the losing team? Sorry. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And it has happened. <laughs> Sorry. The Royals. Chalk so far in this region. Will it continue to finish Ooh. out the region? You're more right. second round games, more controversy, and this mm. matchup that Stoney is apparently saving his veto for. Very exciting stuff. And we have another request from the listeners, a bit that we haven't played in years. Mm. The day Terry blew up his grill. We'll oh. get to it. I love that one. Next, if you're thinking about getting new home windows, you got two options, magic fiberglass or cheap vinyl. Let's look at the facts. Magic fiberglass, eight times stronger than vinyl, three times more energy efficient. You can paint it, you can customize it, but you will never have to replace it. Magic fiberglass, guaranteed for life. Take a look at your last energy bill. You want to cut it in half, as David says? All right, it's simple. Get magic fiberglass windows. Right now, use coupon code Valenny. You'll get a house full of windows, $129 a month, two years, no interest. That's it, that's all. If you're tired of dropping hundreds of dollars a month, Get Magic Windows, one twenty nine a month, two years, no interest, and be confident you got the best windows for the best value with a lifetime guarantee to back it up. Book your free consultation at magicwindow.com. That's magic with a J, window.com. It's Magic Windows, built for you, built for life. Never been to a black barbecue before. Brother, you need to go. I've never been invited to a black barbecue, but I'm happy to go. Be quiet and learn something. I'll take the French fries and the double cheeseburger. Can you have three grills, though? That's what I'm talking about. Damn it! Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh. Is that when Terry blew up his grill? Yeah, he got so mad at us for doing that. (laughs) Ticket techs are coming in. Oh, my. number of people are, are, their bracket is destroyed. Hardened Black is out. Uh, The Aikman drop has has Mm. really, really hurt a lot of submissions. Mm. A number of people begging. Aikman cannot be eliminated. Veto, please. Mm. Uh, Guys, it resides with Stoney and Wojo. It doesn't reside with me. I wasn't going to do that. It was a five over a four. Too close to call. Mm -hmm. Nope. I agree. I agree. I thought Aikman was a better drop, but you know what? That's why they play the game. Shall we continue? Yes. We uh, headed towards the Sweet 16. Pierce, Fenton, up next. What's up, Pierce? Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for calling. Here we go. We give you the uh, 7-2 matchup in the second deck region where the seventh seed... Give me my sag, medium well! Going up against the second seed... (laughs) Ooh. Wow, I see this. Wow, Pierce, Pierce, you've got a tough matchup, buddy. I'm going with the seventh seed. 
Give me my steak, medium well. Seven over a two. I am not surprised. I thought there's medium veto, well. There's a veto there, but I'm not going to use it. No, medium well could get I heavy, like, Steve. I, I, you like, kidding me? I, like I, I think well. David Stephen A. Smith impersonation is so bad that it's become a cult hero. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. And I, look, knocking out ooh. is a big accomplishment because that ooh, ooh. is a drop. That That is, that's like Kansas. It's kind always of. relevant. Yeah, but always knocked out, too. Yeah, for the most part. Like Arizona under Lute Olsen, except yeah. for one year. Uh, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. The year they lost to Santa Clara and Steve Nash. <laughs> That's right. All right, so the uh, we have that region set. We yes. have a one, three, a four, and a seven. Not bad. Not no, total chalk, not bad, but not exactly. bad. Okay. Right. Now, uh, the, 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 this, this siren region, I think we're going to have some upsets. Let's oh, go right uh, into it. Let's right. go to Kyle on a cell. He will lead off the siren region. Hi, Kyle. How are you guys? Good, Kyle. How Kyle, are you? Kyle, very good. Don't be this, nervous. This is this is by far the greatest radio ever made. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is, this is amazing. I need to be able to pay for this. Pay some kind of charity. Buy it on iTunes. Something. This is amazing. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll take pizza. No, we won't. We have our pizza. Thanks okay. to Mr. Valeni. Um, all right, here we go for a spot in the Sweet 16 from the Siren region. It's the 1-9 matchup, the top seed. The good old faithful Siren going up against Ooh. the number 9 seed. I'm hard. That's Jeffrey Oh, my Rieger. God. Yeah. Tough. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. It's tough. Mm. The Sirens classic, mm-hmm. but that is probably the greatest Rieger drop ever. Mm-hmm. It's a scrappy underdog. Yeah. It, it, it mm-hmm. has capability. I mean, Kyle, it's listen, it's your world. You tell me who's moving on. I mean, mm-hmm. Siren is our number two uh, overall seed. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to lie. Every, every single time the Siren comes on, I laugh. So I got to go with the Siren. Uh, there you go. Old faithful. All right. The Siren moves on. Rieger. It's, yeah. it's getting to the point now. Did you hear that caller? Like, the seeds are getting so close that when it, when they played, the guy was like, oh, my God. The pressure that these people feel, no, no, I'm telling not you to people. themselves, but to the constituency, the listeners, no. they feel a responsibility. You should feel pressure because I'm telling you people, you're getting killed on ticket text when you make a bad pick. I know. I think I, it was Brian is getting killed. So so we got we get killed for not using vetoes. Yeah, well, Tears were shed left. when Troy Aikman got eliminated. I know. Mm-hmm. Go to Scott in Garden City up next on the Stoney and Wojo Invitational. What's Scotty. up, Scotty? Hey, guys. I am honored and humbled. All right, here we go. We have Thank a you. 12-4 matchup in mm. the Siren region. The 12th seed and upset-minded. Babcock. Going up against the 4th <laughs> seed and combative. Sorry, I assumed the Penn State-Michigan game was a night game. That was great. I got to go chalk here. Yeah, wow. got to go chalk. Yeah. <laughs> Stoney <laughs> arguing with the Gov about the Penn State I'm game. I'm actually disappointed. I love the Babcock. I thought it could go further. I, I think the problem for the Babcock drop, and, and and not only with Scott, we haven't used it as much because the team has been so irrelevant. Right. I understand. And the he's only gone. reason the Gora stuff carries <laughs> is because he's so ridiculous. Yeah. The Babcock thing, if this if this Babcock. was three years ago, I, I think that probably could have made a run. You're right. Mm-mm-mm. This next one is going to be very difficult. Oh, I'm boy. just going to set it up very simply. Gary in Clinton Township is going to play a major role here. Gary, welcome. Hey, fellas, how are you doing today? Good, Gar- Gary. Do not be nervous, but I guarantee okay. you, you'll be under scrutiny from the ticket texters and <laughs> listeners. All right, in the Siren region, for a spot in the Sweet 16, it is the number 11 seed. It's Hooper's birthday. It's Hooper's birthday. Going okay. up against the number three seed. Hey! That is absolutely lethal matchup, mm. Gary. Mm. Uh, take oh, take us through your thought process. New school versus classic. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I laugh every time I hear Hooper's birthday. I got to go with Hooper. Wow. Takes oh! Wojo down. Hey! It's Hooper's Not birthday. necessarily. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Woj. Uh-huh. Well, hold on. Hold Don't on. say sorry yet. I'm looking at the, some sorry. of the vetoes that are still around here. Stone, mm-hmm. I'll veto one for you if you veto one for me. No, oh, no, I didn't well, say well, that well, out loud. Well, you can't trade vetoes. Come on. 
Mm-hmm. And I, Gary, I am staying out of this. This is their deal. I'm just here to tra- direct traffic. Uh, uh, listen, I don't have a problem with your selection because Hooper's I laugh birthday. at anything Mason says. So that Hooper thing cracks me. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah, the team thought it was funny too. Mm-hmm. Or listen, I, I'm staying out of it because I I'm a part of it, so I'm staying out. Stoney, Stoney you got to make a call, brother. I know. Mm. I'm not. I'm not staying to seven. I'm I'm keeping it. Unbelievable! Wow. Wow! You know, I've been you know, accused. I, I'm accused of being an old man so much. I'm going to go with the new school. I think what's I think what's interesting Dang. here. You guys tell me if if I'm wrong. That's almost like when a bracket opens up for a team. Yep. I think Hooper's birthday clearing the Wojo hurdle. I think you could see Hooper make a run here. No, no, no. Did we not say before the tournament that dark horse candidate was Hooper's birthday? Yes. I believe we said that. Let's find out. It's Hooper's birthday. Ah, the dumbest promotion in history. Uh, Okay. Let's find out who Hooper's going to be facing. Dan is in Livonia and has all the answers. Dan, go ahead. Oh, Dan's gone. Let's go to Brandon. He has the answers. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, Brandon. What do you got there, mister? Stoney, give him a game. Here we go. The 2-10 game. We have the 10th seed. I love Jim Caldwell. <laughs> against the second seed. Colored is fine. Oh, wow. no. Oh. Heavyweights here. Oh. These are starting to get really good matchups. Heavyweights yeah. here, Brandon. It's starting to get uh, uncomfortable matchups, too. Yeah. <laughs> be honest. Play, play them side well, by gotta, side you again. Gotta go, you got to go uh, with the favorite. Um, my opinion, colored is fine. It's strong. Yeah, Colored it's strong. Is, it's strong. It has lasting power, and it, yeah. it, it it offended an entire race. Yeah, I got no problem yes, with that. Yeah. Goodbye, Martha. I was just a little bit concerned about Martha saying, I love Jim Caldwell, love followed Jim by Caldwell. Colored is fine. <laughs> I love Jim Caldwell. Colored is fine. Oh, my gosh. There we go. That region is set 1, 2, 4, 11. Again, close to chalk, but not quite. That's One good. side of the bracket yeah. done. One side to go. It could have been all chalk if I used the veto. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I might not be able to sleep well tonight. I think you're going to be criticized heavily for not using the I'm, veto. Well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Still a lot of vetoes opportunities. More to come. Here's Sully to sell you alcohol in good times. Well, and if you go to Greektown Casino, a lot of chances to win prizes this month. I'm talking about the $300,000 cash and cruise giveaway right now at Greektown Casino Hotel. So over 60 winners this month. You're going to win five grand cash. Or a carnival cruise to go on. So you got to go down to Greektown. You got to earn your entries now through July 27th. Just go down to Greektown. Play your favorite slot machines, table games, whatever it is. Just get down there and play because when you do play, you get your entries into these Friday night drawings. Drawings every 15 minutes on Friday nights from 6 to 10 p.m. And when you're down to Greektown, check out Monroe Market. Brand new. There's seven new restaurants down there all in one place. Basically, any food you want, you're going to find at Monroe Market. Check that out. It's brand new. And Greektown Casino this month, $300,000 cash and cruise giveaway going on. So get your entries in. And, of course, remember when you're down at Greektown, you must be at least 21 years old to gamble. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I know you want to do it. Sure you do. Detroit Grand Poobahs. You know I want to do it, too. got two regions down to the uh, half of the Sweet 16. We have two more to go. It's the Stoney and Wojo Invitational on the Valenti Show. And uh, myself and Woj want to thank uh, Mike and his minions, as we like to call them. Mike Sullivan, but David Stone, Hull. But, but Stoney, what was that song? I, I never heard that song before. What is that? Yeah, yeah. You don't know that I song? I don't have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody and knows the Detroit s- Grand Pooh Boss. That's right. And, and, Mike, you were about to say, you people are correct. Are the the people out there are, they're still devastated about the uh, Troy Aikman drop being eliminated. Tyler flat out says it. Stoney, I'm going to burn all your Springsteen albums for not using your veto on Wojo's Hey. Mm. Yeah, the, People are upset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, um, a, a couple people have asked the question, why does Hatchet hate his own drops? Yeah, why is that? I, I don't have that answer. Mm. I think, you know, some people hate themselves. They don't like their voice on the radio. No, I, I don't hate my own drops. Color is fine. It's the only one I really hate. <laughs> That's the only one that's advancing. Oh, you kind of <laughs> I know. It. So, 
All right. Um, well, Woj, do you have any ticket text to get to, or do you want to go to the games? Somebody just wants to know what time is Big Butt Trivia. <laughs> That's another oh that's another old classic. Sorry, but hey, we're throwing out all the old classics. By the correct? way, the meat shop coming up at 7. God help us. All right, we've, <laughs> we have the other side. Oh, and the pyramid scheme will be playing tomorrow as well. Mm-hmm. So we have half of the Sweet 16 filled, and let's get the other half going. I like Go. when Tommy Lee did me. Uh, that's, oh, Lord. <laughs> I know that one. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about before. That one I know. Let's go to Todd. 971. What's up, Todd? Happy New Year. Woo! Happy New Year. Woo! Woo! Hey, uh, Todd, can we take you to the uh, Terry's D region for a spot in the Sweet 16? Is that okay with you? Absolutely. I'm with Terry all the way. Okay, then. Here we go. It's the 1-9 matchup in Terry's D's or regions. Uh, It's the top seed. You want to talk about my D? Terry's talking about his D. Hard and black. There's your hyperbole, hyperbole lovers. Going up against the number nine seed. Out on bail, fresh out of jail, California dreaming. When I step on the scene, the hoochie screaming. <laughs> Pack a pudo. It's all good. <laughs> that, that's, this, is, this is a heavyweight fight, Todd. <laughs> that's like, like one of those one nine matchups on four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Looks like a bigger game. Mm. No, I gotta stick with my, I gotta stick with my boy Terry. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, absolutely. Send Caputo yeah, back I to California. Like, Caputo was good. You need to put that somewhere else because he was rapping. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we have it. It's it's in our archive. <laughs> it's a history. <laughs> it's available for use. Let's see who Terry's D will face off against mm. in the next round. And this this is gonna be a good one. Mm. Let's go to Paul. In Nashville. Hello, Paul. Paul, what's going on down in Nashville? Ah, uh, Stoney and Wojo Damas, genius, sir. Hey, oh, oh, thank you, Paul. Wow. Wojo Damas, genius, sir. Thank yes, you. Exactly. All right. You uh, up for the task here? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, teams that were seated maybe too low. We'll find out. The 12th seed. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Going up against something that they uh, can do in Boca Raton a lot. Uh, that's the 13th seed. Yeah. On the I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not doing this all day. Only him in lesson has to know. Mm, I have violated the rules of golf intensely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 12 13 matchup. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's, mm. it's, it's definitely a toughie. Um, I definitely would rather be on the golf course right now than at work, so let's go with the 13th seed. Nice. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good pick. I, 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 the separator there is David's vocals. Yes, I agree. And then Lesson yes. telling you that he's a cheater. <laughs> I still think Terry's D is going to pound on the down I have ball. violated the rules of golf intensely. <laughs> And I'm sure I'll be blamed for that as well. For what? Nothing. Uh, let's go to the next game. We'll go to Joe on a cell. Joe, what's going on? Not much, guys. How are you doing? I just got to ask Tony, where's the I slept, I slept with my sister drop? Uh, that was from a pre- we don't. These are only drops from <laughs> this show. Yeah, from Valenis. Yes. Right, right, right. We're right. not doing that. Uh, yeah. It's sort of mixing the yeah. old and the new. Um, Joseph, yeah. can well, I take pulled- you? Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. We're ready. ready okay. To go. Let's take you to the Terry's D region. Uh, where very interesting matchup. It's the six fourteen matchup. It's the number six seed. All I want to hear is here come the Tigers. Hey! Come on, here come the Tigers. I keep saying it, and I'm not going to stop saying it. <laughs> Teams 12 games out of first. You keep saying it, Craig. That, Sorry. That's Craig Monroe. Sorry, Sorry uh, Joe. DMX, of course, going up against uh, the upset minded 14 seed. Little Imagine Dragons there. Harbaugh is an underachiever versus Craig Monroe. What say you, Joseph? Well, 
it, this is this is a this is tough. It's it's both, a both of them are good good drops, but I think I got to go with the uh, you know I, I'm going to I'm going I like to imagine dragons, so we're going to go with the 14 seed. Oh, I'm better in this. Is wow. the Final Four in Indianapolis? Oh, my God. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Not getting in trouble this early in the summer. Wow. That's I, I, Listen, what? I'm shocked. Oh, I am too. I'll be honest with you. And I ain't vetoing it Here either. Here come the Tigers. They're such a great bit. The yeah. pants, the silks. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of spots in that song, though, that you got to play for people who haven't heard it. Roberto's voice when he's talking about the rain on his glasses. Hipster glasses <laughs> caught in, in the, the rain. rain. <laughs> it's so bad, it's great. All right. Pain, got a body. He can't beat his rivals, <laughs> it's a shame. Hipster glasses covered in the rain. <laughs> Pants, silks. All right, that's enough of that. Um, let's find out. Who Harbs will take on, and I'm telling you right now, mark mm. this, toughest decision I personally would have if this were a real thing. Oh, my God, really? This, you wow. are talking about two absolute favorites here. We bring in Jay and Shelby, who has massive responsibility right here. Mm. Go ahead, Jay. Jay. Oh, man, what's going on, guys? Hello, Jason. All right, Jay, here you go. We have the 10 seed. The morning show's unhappy. They don't like certain people listening to what they do. Uh, they call them Mike Slacky. They're afraid they're listening and reporting back to you know who. The morning show's unhappy. The Minion song. The Minion song mm-hmm. going against the second seed and uh, got to this round by by a veto. Second. Yeah, you earned this. I was uh, watching you. This is your reward. Your grandma or your mom used to get. Yes. The Copper Chef, the bits, the totality of the bits. Are you dipping? Versus the Minion songs. So, mm-hmm. Oh boy. Mm. Um. Oh man, this is this is a tough one. What what were the, what were the seedings again? What was that it's, last seed again? It, sh- it shouldn't make a difference to you, should it? It, it oh, shouldn't, but this stop. is so controversial. I mean, this is like life altering decision right now. Okay, is. well, the first one was a ten seed. The uh, the Copper Chef was a two seed. Oh man. Uh, I, 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 I gotta go with the copper chef. I have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you earned this. I was uh, watching you. Mm-hmm. This is your reward. Your grandma or your mom used to get. Yes. I noticed the Minion celebrating that the Minion song was eliminated. <laughs> that makes me sad. Uh, Jay, Jay, I appreciate it. I was, I gotta be honest. I saved these. I was kind of hoping for the Minions to move on. <laughs> have you saved these? I know. I, saving Thies in the first round was principal. Okay. Yeah, but Roberto was going to be devastated. I've been checking every day for the last six months for new Eric Thies infomercials. I think we put him out of business (laughs) with these bits. Check out my basket. So the Terry's D region is 1, 2, 13, 14. We finished the last region. Preview the Elite Eight. Or Sweet 16. Sweet 16. I can't even keep where we're at. Mm, mm, Next, mm. message from Rick Collel, Suburban Cadillac of Troy. You can't always get what you want. But they beg to differ. The 2018 Cadillac XT5 luxury front-wheel drive, it's got it all. Versatility, style, five-star safety rating. You're getting full amenities. The sunroof, blind zone alerts, front and rear park assist. You can lease the XT5 crossover from Suburban, Troy Motor Mall, $319 a month, 39 months. That's $319 a month. Sully Blue Moore at the bar at Mr. B's. Three nineteen a month on that XT5. You go see my guy Rick Kalel. Guy's a stud muffin. You get the deal done. Or check it out online. I don't care. You do it either way. Suburban Cadillac at Troy.com. Bottom line, the XT5 is not going to be sitting there for three nineteen a month. You sit around on your ass. Get up there and get the deal done. Suburban Cadillac of Troy or Suburban Cadillac at Troy.com. We're looking at some of these matchups. Sorry. This is a team that can win and win big. Oh, that's a great story. You never know what could happen. Let's see. It's a little, little decorum here. little decorum. It's the Stony. I like snorting cocaine. And Wojo. Oddly enough. Invitational Bracket Challenge on 97 won The Ticket. Uh, ticket texts mm. are pouring in. The hey lives on in Underachiever. That's from Jake. 
<laughs> this is the deepest tourney Harbaugh has ever gone. Mm-hmm. If only Harbaugh could make a run like this. Mm-hmm. Here mm-hmm. come the Tigers is out. That's insane. Simo going down is an absolute atrocity. You know what this shows, Mike? It shows the quality of the work on this show and the quality of the selection committee <laughs> where no matter who loses, people are upset. True, true. Well, I think we're at a point now, you're right, because mm-hmm. you've got very few. Like, I, I think there's, in the next four games, there's only one that I don't think people will miss. Mm. Seven of the eight. Heartstrings will be tugged. Yep, probably. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the games. Mm. Lucas is in Fenton. He's up next. What's up, Lucas? Hey, how are you? Good, bud. Luke, everything's fine. I'm actually starting to get nervous for you guys because there is so much at stake here. Are you ready, Lucas? Yes, I am. Let's take you to the Elite 32 matchup in uh, Austin, Texas, oddly enough. These are Friday, Sunday games. Oh, no, forget that. <laughs> it is the one. Nine matchup, and you say one nine blowout. I don't know. Here we go. The number one seed. What did you say? Watch where you're going. Starbucks coffee, <laughs> celebrity wife. He only respects the fun. That's the. <laughs> The, mm. the Jamie Alitas song with the he Starbucks coffee. He wears J. Crew, and he's better than you. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Now, before you think it's a lock, listen up to the number nine seed. He's the coach at MSU. Much respect. He is due. Mac D'Antoni. Mac D'Antoni. Mac D'Antoni. Uh, D'Antoni. You hear his name all the time. Read it in the headlines. Mac D'Antoni. Oh, Lucas, that's a toughie. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't know. Mm. It's mm. I'm a big Sparty, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the number one still. Yep, there the you right go. Way to go. Good it's, call. That's it's, a good call. It's yeah. the right call. It it's is just such a classy song. Mm-hmm. It's been banned, so today's the only day you can hear it. It's mm-hmm. it, it matters. Um, mm. It's because uh, Jamie actually likes it too. Oh well, right. Well, you know. We'll leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, Chris is up next. <laughs> What's up, Chris? An absolutely brutal matchup. <laughs> that, that is still too funny. All right, Chris. Do you think you can handle the 4 5 matchup here? I hope so. All right. I'm so nervous. All right. Me too. The fifth seed, the owner of the Pistons. T shirt time. T shirt time. Check the top. T shirt time. T shirt time. Check the top. We got to win. You know, we haven't done that. And <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> Against the four seed oh, hatchet man. He said his people back 50 years. Colored his spine. Colored his spine. David said colored his spine. Colored his spine. Oh, my. What are you going to do, Chris? I, I think for a four or five, I don't think it's that close. Uh, colored is fine. Has to go on. Yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. That's fair. And it's, you know what? It wasn't that close. I'll and, be honest. And I want to let you know, Chris, David is cringing mm-hmm. as his legendary so racially offensive remarks are <laughs> moving on. And that was the first song ever created by this group. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, a classic. The I, original. I like that. Yeah, very mm. classic. I'm telling you right now, these next two matchups, there's going to be a veto that's going to happen. There's no way there's not. These two are brutal. Me and Stoney each have a veto left. Last two spots in the Sweet 16, yep. and we've got a pair of mats to decide it. We go to Matt in Milford first. He's up next. Hello, Matthew. Hey, let's rock and roll. Mike's got to get home by 7. <laughs> oh, we told him 7.30 at the latest. All right, Matt. Gotcha. All right, take him through it, because, Matt, right. I'm telling you, this is a ball breaker. Yeah, this is a ball breaker, Matthew. Be careful. Don't be nervous. It's the 11-3 matchup. The 11 seed. Horse racing talk from 2 to 6. You don't like it, Mike says. Second dick. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. Hmm. Mike and his little horsey talk. Going up against the number three seed. Little decorum song for Jim Caldwell. What do you say there, Matthew? Oh, I like it. I'm going with the 11 seed, actually. 
Oh, yes. The 11 seed? Look at it. Yeah, I love rock it. and roll. The Bruno Mars horse racing remix. Oh, oh. Yes. Racing with, with no, with no veto. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, there's vetoes. Oh, uh, there's, there's two vetoes, vetoes left. Oh, boy. There well, are I'll vetoes. let you guys discuss it. We'll hear it on the radio. Okay, All right, Maddie. We'll hear it on the discussion. Gentlemen, radio. Stoney, what do you think? I mean, it's a, an I mean, 11 over a 3. Yeah, that does happen. It happens, but it's interesting that Stoney would be shilling for a song he ripped on his show this morning when he mocked the quorum storm. I know. This I, is, I, but I just, this 11 seed. Yeah, yeah but it's, 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 it's like when uh, Johnny Taylor and UT Chattanooga made the Sweet 16. No, Mike, be honest mm. for a second. You do not think the 11 seeded horse song should be this far. Do oh, you? I do. Because it, it sticks. I, I'll, t- I'll tell you why. Because anytime it's played, A, the listeners go crazy, and B, it gets stuck in your head. You can't get rid of it. I'm going to say this. In 10 seconds, the first 10 ticket texts that come in that say veto, if if there's more vetoes and no vetoes, I'm vetoing. 97136, go. You're keeping score? You actually want me to count, like, to 10? (laughs) I'm watching. Um, This one says 11 wins. This one says do not veto this. There it is. This one says, no way. I don't know what that means. It means no way it should go. Exactly. Two to one so far. Um, this is a... Would you be upset if we No, 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 no. First of all, my feelings don't matter in this. This is uh, your that's... legendary bit. I'm just here to move it along. We have two vetoes left, and there's only one All right, Sonia, let's talk amongst ourselves, okay? 11 that's over not how three. live radio works. Huh? What? That's the way this show is works. Is this live? Okay. Um... <laughs> I um, like I like the little decorum, little decorum. Yeah, little, the little, Cobble got so disrespected hey, hold by on everybody. A second. Hey, hold on a second. Hmm. <gasps> what do you say, Roger? What's the, what's the score count? If it's oh, overwhelming, I, I won't veto. But. I will say the score count is not overwhelming, but majority, no veto. Okay. I'll live with it. Yes. I'll live with it, too. Yes. Uh, it's, and it, not, and, it's not overwelming, but it's definitely a majority. two days from opening day I, at Saratoga. I mean, come on. Yeah, but only you and even I care a little bit. That's the beauty. Of I it. would say we got about 100. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. We got about 150 votes in two minutes, and it's mostly vetoes. All right. Oh, no vetoes. All right. No vetoes. Matt and Canton, mm-hmm. last game. We set the Sweet 16. Matt, go ahead. Hey, how's it going, fellas? Hello, Matthew. All right. How's it going? All right, Matt. Good. Here we go, Matthew. Uh, the last one, the 10 seed. I'm sorry. Gary Foster just sung up on you. I let your ass go. He called you a bitch. You're the bitch. And you love him. When I speak, thousands hear me. <laughs> Going up against the, the second seed. Stoney's a creep. He stumbles more than you would know. Oh, what? what? He wants to the second and go. Jimmy really wants to go so low. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Yeah, I, I, I agree. This is the hardest wow. decision of the entire this tournament. Is, this is tough. Am I right or am I right? No, tough it's not the hardest. Boys. What do you say there, Matthew? Uh, I thought it's tough, but I got to go with my boy T Foss. Well, you know wow. what? Hold on a second. Oh, sorry. I'll let your ass go. Wow. This, Matt, this Matt. could be the most self serving move in, in, in tournament history. I'm vetoing. <gasps> I'm moving on. F uh, everybody. Hold on, on one second. Can you veto a veto? Hold on one second. Can you veto his veto? I have a veto left. So if Stoney vetoes... Right, but if Stoney vetoes that, can Wojo re-veto the veto? He should be able to. This is the last game you can use a veto. It's the last game of the second round. And here's what I think you should do. I want you to... You need to commiserate. I want you to take time and get this decision right okay let me take let's some not time be hasty let's okay not be i won't emotional. be hasty at all I everybody will not. needs to calm down i'll calm down i veto sony's veto oh, wow. yes wow. yes wow. terry's i hung God. up on you advances Stoney, what does that taste like you know what it shows you who your friends are because it could have set up a Jamie versus Stoney. Stoney, how does my butt taste this now? Is getting huh? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, all because I didn't use the veto for, hey, would you have used your veto to save me? No. 
You didn't use your veto to save me. Exactly. So, f- so it's it fair made, and so square. It made a difference. And, and Terry, that is a classic. I don't I feel bad about advancing uh, Terry Foster hung up on you. I, I, you need to get the ticket text ready because that is. But why does Stoney's veto? If, it's a matter of whose veto goes first here. So just because Stoney called it out first, then Wojo can no, disallow I, it? I could not veto a two over a ten. Yeah. He had to veto that right, first. Let me take care of some business. He vetoed a 10 over a 2. I couldn't veto a 2 over a 2. More in a moment. When the IRS tells you owe money, they mean business. They're going to harass you until they get what they want. If you're part of the growing number of Americans, you got trouble paying your taxes or getting out of IRS debt. Hey, what is going on over here? I'm trying to get things done. The creepo's crying. All right. Jesus. Call Abraham and Rose, tax lawyers. Jerry and Maurice, local guys, been in business for years. Jerry Maurice, I'm going to sue somebody. Jerry used to work for the IRS. He knows him inside and out. Somebody get him out of this room. They will work with you on a plan, keep you out of trouble, and get the IRS off your back. CPA, lovely people, they can't help you. You need tax lawyers, you need experts, you need Abraham and Rose. Call them. Don't take on the IRS alone. 248-539-5040. That's 248-539-5040. Or go online to Abraham and Rose. One, two, three. Stony and Wojo. Stony and Wojo. Stony and Wojo sounds like the name of an old TV cop show. Stony and Wojo. They're on the radio. Stony and Wojo know more about sports than most other folks know. This is their talk show. There's also humor and bits, opinions and wit, and a whole lot of situations where people call in. It is 5.04 on a Wednesday. Yes, if you're just getting out of work. It is not 2009. It is indeed 2018. Set your watches back nine years. Ah, yes. <laughs> Obama just inaugurated. How you been, Bob? Oh, everything's fine. What you been up to, Stoney? Oh, just, you know, the kids are now going to college next year. You sure know, they are. Of course they are. I haven't seen them in a while, and uh, everything's just wonderful. I mean, the Red Wings coming off that Stanley Cup win in 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and should have won in 09. Yeah. It's good to see you again after 10 years. Yeah, it's great years. to be here on yes. the Baloney Show doing a Stoney and Wojo Invitational. Michael, have you enjoyed it so far? I feel like it's gone very, very well. Your listeners, I got to admit are really in tune, because we often had people try to screw it up. I know. I don't think people are trying to screw this one up at no, all. No, it's, it's like, well, it's, it's yeah, like they're trying to do, do the right, right thing instead yes. of the ball break. Exactly. But you you two need to sort through this now. You th- This was controversial, and Wojo told me, like, he can't even keep up with the ticket text coming in. So, so many nice ones. I will try to read some of them, but lots of people really having fun. Like, just real quick, I'll read one. Dan in Ann Arbor. I'm driving to go see my dad who just got put in hospice care, battling cancer. Absolutely brutal day. First time I've smiled all day. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dan. That's very I nice. Dan, yes. Dan, good luck to you. Mm-hmm. Um, There's been a lot on Twitter people who, you know, their past, we were part of their past, so to speak. So, you know, um, and they like that a lot. Uh, but you know what? Here's Here's the deal. Yeah. This this show, the Valani show, and before it, the Valani and Foster show, just staples in this town. Uh, and you know where we thought we you know made a way to mark, which we did. These guys and Mike and the minions, you know, we, we, we do it. We do it in a in a kidding but loving way. The Hatchet Man, Roberto and Sully. Hatchet Man. That's hatchet right. Man. Oh, I, see how that never got the feel. Hatchet I, Man. I, I, that's one of my favorite drops. I of all. left the selections to you guys. I know, don't get defensive. Hatchet just, Man. There's so much good stuff. <laughs> I love that. But this is just a. Uh, it's a, it's been a joy. It's an uh, honor. It's an for honor us to be here with you. Yes, it's an honor to be part it's, of. It. I listen. I couldn't believe we actually got to put it together. Mm. It's good. We're it's, causing it's Power's good. hair to fall out right now. Yeah, but he that's is a little okay. nervous. We're going to get through it. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's and pacing. The fact that the three of us with our summer schedules and you know, mm-hmm. we use our vacations and stuff, th- this worked out perfect. Yes. This mm-hmm. is perfect. It's the perfect time. I just want it to be what you guys wanted it to be. I yes. wanted to stay true to the bit that you guys did and, and true to your show. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, and listen, I mean, look, look at these matchups. Oh, they're spectacular as we <laughs> I don't there's some brutal ones. 
Well, but, there there are the Sweet Sixteen. Like in one bracket, the Terry's D region, it's a one versus a thirteen and a two versus a fourteen. Very rarely do you see that. Correct. It, is there a matchup in particular that you believe rises above the rest in difficulty? Uh, uh, God, they're you all mean hard. the closest one? I would say. I'd say in the second deck region, the seven versus the three. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna that's, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be huge. I, I will tell you, I think we, there's an upset uh, brewing in the Siren region. That's all I'll say. And by the way, we're out of vetoes. That's right. We had veto on veto crime, which we deemed legal. It was legal. Stoney attempting to save his own song. And no, I, I honored Terry and said uh, his song, He Hung Up On You, deserved to go on. It's in the Sweet 16. You want to get a couple games in? Yes. No, yes. One, no wonder these guys haven't been in the same room in 10 years. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't You wouldn't save it for me. <laughs> that is, that is, and he wouldn't. He had a chance to save me earlier, and he didn't. Let's go, I know. Let's go to Gage and save Royal it for Jamie. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Whoa. protective. Well, Gage, yeah. how are you? Mm. I'm doing good, sir. I'm driving home from work. I'm ready. All right, Gage. You get the honor, and I must say the responsibility of putting the first team into the Elite Eight. Are you ready, Gage? Ooh, ready as can be. Take a deep breath. From the second deck region, oh, a powerhouse this is Pepsi Center in Denver. showdown. It is from Denver, yes, indeed. It is the top seed. Second deck. Going up against the number four seed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like snorting cocaine. And and mind you, Gage, Stoney snorting cocaine took out a pre a prohibitive favorite. Oh. He starts to come, and then he pulls out. Yep. Oh, I, mm. I couldn't believe that one fell. Well, if you want to hold it against Stoney oh, snorting I'm just, cocaine. I'm, just, I'm letting him understand there is yeah. no lightweight in this matchup. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're both fantastic, but... Rod Allen, you got to go with it. Oh! Second deck. Whoa, yes, there yes. he goes. Down goes Stoney's Coke. Down goes Stoney's Coke. It's been a bad 10 minutes for the Stone Man. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, yes. yeah, yeah you were emasculated I by know. Bob, I know. and then you lost your big drop. I know, to Rod Allen, what can I say? All right, uh, let's continue. This, now, th- this one, this is a damn street oh, fight. Oh, this is. Oh, I know. Scott is on a cell, and, and Scott, I have to tell you, this, right now, this is West Side Story, mm. and both sides have knives. Are you prepared for this? <laughs> I am ready. Bring it on. All right, Scotty. Let's, let's do this. This is for you. Uh, we stay in the Pepsi Center. The third seed. Let the bitch walk. Against the seventh seed. Give me my steak, medium well. Oh, mm. oh son of a biscuit. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not this listening. Is, I'm too this, nervous. This is agonizing. Totally agonizing. Take so us, I, take I us through this, your thought process. Yeah, give it, get, get, talk it through. Talk it through. All right. Well, can we first, for the people, for the people, Mike, can we hear them both again? Yes. This is legendary stuff right here. Yes. Let's, let's one more time. Let the bitch walk. <laughs> give me my steak, medium well. Mm. Oh, mm. God. Mm. I am literally torn. My heart is pounding. Uh, boy, let the bitch walk is just. It is, a, it is a classic, um, but the, the, the steak. Uh, we're what? gonna we're gonna let the bitch walk. Move on. We're gonna walk on through to the next round. Let the wow. bitch walk. Down there goes medium well. Down goes medium well. Well, you know what? It was, it was supposed to. It was a three point favorite. Yeah, formful. I thought it could get on a roll. I was but, about but to throw up. I was so nervous. Do you understand what you have created for a trip to the Final Four? Oh yeah, that's what it's all that about. That is, that's Duke, Kentucky, uh, on a oh, Saturday yeah. night mm-hmm. in San Antonio. <laughs> that is <laughs> oh, one versus boy. a three. Denver is going to be mile high. There's people going to be high for that one. And My stomach is still churning. I I'll will be tell you the Cinderella of this tournament is going to come up in the next segment, and I think it could be another upset. I told you, when this particular drop broke through against Wojo, there was a chance it could go on a run. Mm -hmm. We'll talk Mm -hmm. about that. We'll get more of the ticket text as well. The Stoney and Wojo Invitational rolls on. Every time I tell you about O'Reilly, we wrap it up with the same phrase. Better parts, better prices every day. And it's more than just a slogan. It's a promise. They guarantee, and they put it behind everything they do. They're going to have every part you need to get the job done right at prices you want. Guaranteed low prices. 
Their staff is made up of the best pros in the industry. Stop into O'Reilly today. See how that simple phrase drives everything they do. It's O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's better parts, better prices every day. Still shaking. Still shaking. How did you put up with this music for so long? We didn't do it. I mean, we... Yeah, he played normal. How did he get stuff. his Bruce music involved in this? No, I did he it for did. him. I just right, I wanted right, to make it special. Right. Why do you think I got him his favorite pizza? Why and do you, you got me nutter butters. Do you understand That's what right. I looked like leaving a grocery store with like six bags of nutter butters? I must have looked like a burnout. <laughs> he did but that, I, 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 I got you guys the things that I thought would make it nice. Either that or a Wojo stalker. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, Bob. <laughs> No, I'm halfway through one big box. Don't worry. Ugh. I'll make it. I'll make it. Uh, ticket texts are coming in. Creepo is good, but Stoney's veto was the worst call I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Uh, medium well, one of my favorite takes so far. Let the bitch walk. It's easy. Stoney beat Joe Buck. Wow, bad vote. This is so great. I feel like I'm back in high school in 95. Let the bitch walk is legendary. That moment in radio is the funniest thing I've ever heard. If you include context, I could see that winning. Do we? You know what's funny? A lot, and we get lost in it. Like you think everybody knows everything, and and I do a bad job of it as a radio host. Like you think your audience knows what that means, right? Dude, that was 2015. There are a lot of new people to show, but like, do we have the 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 actual context of it in the song? Because I don't remember the full song. I don't know the context of a lot of these, but they're still funny. Well, some of them don't right. need it really. I know, right. no. I'd have to dig for that. I don't know if we have the exact context right offhand. No. I just remember he was talking to you about an ex ex right, girlfriend, and yeah. he just erupted. Mm-hmm. And then that squeaky noise you hear is me throwing my headset to the floor and leaving, thinking we thought, were all yeah, getting fired. He was looking out for me, thought that she was being a little too uh, demanding, and he said, "Obviously, let just let the bitch walk. Come on." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it was funnier because that was the second time he said it when he got mad. The first he was so calm, he's like. Well, you know what I'll tell you is, let the bitch walk. <laughs> right. And then Sully tried to like, no, 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 no. She's very not. Let the bitch yeah, it was. <laughs> you don't disrespect my man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You let you let the bitch walk. Uh, right. <laughs> By the way, still, still fallout from medium well being knocked out. Um, I've never la- Oh no, no, they love the yes, the Stephen A. steak drop should have been the champ. I've never laughed so hard at radio in my life. And Hatchet, the fact that David thinks it sounds like I know. Stephen A. Hold on, I what know. did the text say? Whoa, the what drop? The Stephen A. It sounds just like him. <sighs> oh, God. God help us! Cut it in half. <laughs> All right, we get to uh, get two more to the Elite Eight. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's go to Chris. He has a big matchup. Chris, what's up? What's up, gentlemen? How Hello, Christopher. You got it to send another team to the Elite Eight. Please don't choke. Don't be nervous. Here it goes. We head to the Siren region. It's a classic 1-4 matchup. This is North Carolina against uh, Kansas. It is the top seed. <laughs> no, you're not getting pulled over. That's the Siren. <laughs> Going up against the four seed. Sorry, I assumed the Penn State-Michigan game was a night game. That was Stoney's head exploding with the gov in the morning. Which one is the best? That's a toughie. Mm. Stoney, I gotta apologize. Don't don't explode at this, but gotta go with the sirens. Oh, the, the sirens yeah. legend. The yeah. sirens yeah. legend. Yeah. You know, even though the Penn State drop had the home the home field advantage because this region being played at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Yeah. So mm. we so we need to find who's going to play the siren. Uh, let's take our next call. Shall I'm we? telling you right. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm. This this will be controversial. This matchup right here. It could be. This oh, is this is yes, going to be will. bad. Julian's in Sterling Heights. Uh, Nobody more qualified than Julian to do this. Julian, good afternoon. How are you? What's going on, gentlemen? How are you? Oh, I'm doing Julian. wonderful. All right, here we go. Uh, for a spot in the Elite Eight, the upset-minded and with momentum, the 11 seed. It's Hooper's birthday. Going up against the second seed, and uh, it's a classic. Colored is fine. Mm. Wow, Julian. Uh, mm. Even though I know Hatchet hates it, colored is fine. You have to. Yeah, wow. yes you do. Yeah, yes you do. That's why it's a two seed for a reason. Down goes Hooper's That's right. birthday. That's right. The candles just mm. got blown out by yeah. the Hatchet Man. 
thought it had a chance. Ride that horse I, out of town. I thought it had a chance. Mm. All right. I David, thought it did, too. David, are you okay? I know it bothers you. Mm. Mm. He'll get over it. He can't keep up with the phone calls. People yeah, are these phone control. calls are coming in fast. And I'm not okay, but whatever. The listeners <laughs> are voting. So right. this, is their, this is their tournament. Let's go to the next game. And, and again, I think there's a live dog in this. But we go to John in Detroit. He'll make that decision. John, go ahead. What's up, guys? All right, Hi, Jonathan. John. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous at all. Let's hear it. All right. Let's take it to the Terry's D's regions for a spot Absolutely. in the Elite Eight. It's a 113 matchup. Does Cinderella move on or not? It is the top seed. You want to talk about my D? Terry's talking about his D. Hard and black. Go, going up, up against the 13th seed. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not doing this all day. Only him in lesson has to know. I have violated the rules of golf intensely. <laughs> Hatchet on the vocals is Sully and Lesson had an illicit golf outing. Uh, what say you there, sir? John, big game. I have to say, maybe it's just because I miss it so much, I'm going to have to stick with Terry's D. You want to talk about my D? Terry's talking about the classic. his D. Wow. Hard and black. How can you argue it? It's the number one scene. I know. I, it, and listen, the, fact, the fact of the matter is that the listener there, what was his name, was John, I believe, mm-hmm. he misses Terry's D. Oh, who do, who does it? That's what he said. Six yeah. more inches. He's, he, oh, he, he said that. So does Down River, I heard. <laughs> okay. <that's, laughs> you know, we're about to give you something hard and black. Oh, uh, there's, there's an old bit. <laughs> All right. We oh, need boy. one more spot for this side of this bracket. We'll go to Dan out in St. Clair Shores. Danny, how are you, buddy? Good. Boom by A, fellas. Oh, Whoa, that, there's, classic. there's a classic. Indeed. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is being played at the T-Mobile Arena this in is, Las this Vegas. This is the Cinderella matchup of sorts here. Yes, yeah? because mm-hmm. uh, one one of uh, these teams got saved by a veto. Here we go. We have the 14th seed. He's feeling the pain. Oh, he got a better He can't beat his rivals. It's a shame. Hipster glasses covered in the rain. The underachiever, Jim Harbaugh. They didn't have that in the uh, Amazon Prime special. Uh, Going Mm. up against the second seed. Mm. Now I'm going to just pull it right out of here, and we're going to put our beef right in the center. Oh, yeah. Look how gorgeous that is. It's so juicy and wonderful. Doesn't get much better than that. It's the uh, Copper Chef compilation. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, All they're doing is cooking food. What's the big deal? Yeah, Mm mm-hmm. What do you well, say, Daniel? It's not going to be a Cinderella story going much further. Number two, she takes that down easily. Now yeah. I'm going to just pull wow. it right out of here. Yeah. And we're going to put. Oh, I think the Harbaugh underachiever just lost to Ohio State again. You know what? It, well, what's <laughs> amazing is it's almost like a team who has a buzzer beater to save their ass in yes, round one. Exactly. And then they start this massive run. Yes. The guy Eric out. Thies was a dead man walking without oh. my veto. Mm-hmm. See, that is totally true. And now his basket and his he, he juices was, he was Tyus live Ed, on. He was, guys, Tyus, he was Tyus Edney. Look what we have so far, by the way. We have a 1 3, a 1 2, and another 1 2. Yeah. It's, bra- yeah, it's a bit chalky. There's no doubt. Let's get the last two games in. Yep, and then we ha- we can set the elite eight. And this region is at the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan, because they're not good enough to have a Final Four, so they have to. Oh, have that's the, a good these point. Yeah. covers mm-hmm. for all. We go yeah. to Steve. Steven, are you ready? Sterling. That would be Sterling, Steve, to you guys. Oh, hey, Sterling, hey, Steve, how are, you? how are you, sir? What's happening, gentlemen? How are you? Good. good. You're sending the next team to the elite eight from the elitist region. Two great matchups. I'll give you the first one. It's the one seed against the four seed, the top seed. What did you say? Watch where you're going. Wow. Jamie, as the elitist, going up against the number four seed. He said his people back 50 years colored his spine. I colored his spine. David said, "Color is mine. Color is mine. This well, is you know so what, hard. Um, oh. I don't think he gets enough 
uh, enough viz, but I think uh, we got to take the number one seed down. Colored is fine is going to the. Wow. 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 Our first number one seed is Six gone. Back wow. Teams. Unbelievable. Favorite Cover. before the tournament, a band song. The elitist Leo loses in the Elite Eight. Wow. It wasn't and, elite enough. And David's right. racial shame continues. Oh. <laughs> Not only is the song still alive, so but the, so is the, the drop. drop. That's David's nightmare. Oh, a title, a title, a title game. game. It, could it, be a t- it could be Hatchet this is like, Hatchet. This is like me watching Michigan and Notre Dame play yeah. for a national title. David's about to see both racially insensitive remarks. There's something right, though, about Colored is Fine taking down the elitists. Isn't there something right about that? Uh, it depends which side of the bench you sit on. <laughs> <laughs> Those people? I know. A stunning result. Kenny will put the last team into the Elite Eight. Oh, my God. Kenny, what's Hello, going on? What's going on, guys? Uh, here we go. Uh, the 11 seed. Horse racing talk from two to six. You don't like it, Mike says. Second dick. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. But Go up against the 10 seed. I let your ass go. He called you a bitch. You're the bitch. And you love it. When I speak, thousands hear me. Terry Foster <laughs> just sung up on you. This is this is a heavyweight battle, Kenny. What do you have? This is tough. This is tough. You know what? Um, just to help you out, Mike, because I know you got this going on Friday. I think I'm taking horse racing time. Wow. What? Oh, wow. Horse racing wow. time. What? Two to six. You like wow. it, yeah. That's a suck it's, up it's, you know, right it, there. It serves us right for not uh, vetoing it when it defeated the decorum song. This is stunning. All right, time. Everybody calm down. I think emotions are running high. I'm pissed. Uh, this, is, up. this is ridiculous. Uh, well, hold on. You know? Everybody <laughs> calm down. Take a minute. Collect your thoughts. Unbelievable. And and if you listen, if you come to a consensus, this, well, is, Joe, VC, this is shock of smart and VCU. That's what this is. Yeah, uh, gimmick, gimmick. Well, this is I, shock of dumb. I can't help it that the people <laughs> like horse racing. No, I think he was just being nice to you. You get a consensus. You talk to the ticket texters. We'll come back with a decision. Ticket texters, there's no decision. The, we, there's no veto. The decision is made. No, we yes. give, we oh, give yeah. the listeners one veto. No, no. The next 20 Stop ticket it. texters. No, no. Not the oh, Joe, what are you, Gary Bettman, <laughs> making up your own rules here? Seriously. <laughs> He's Roger Goodell handed out There we go. We're waiting for the veto. No, we're not. No, 97 no. 97-1. No. Well, in the meantime, I want to invite everybody out to Mr. B's tomorrow night in downtown Ooh. Royal Oak. It's dollar night at Mr. B's. I'm going to be there from 9 to 11 tomorrow night. Dollar night every Thursday. And here's what that means. $1 for a beer, $1 for a shot, $1 for a taco as well. So come out to Mr. B's tomorrow night. I'll be there 9 to 11. Say hello. And you can't beat these prices. Dollar beers, dollar shots, dollar tacos. Fantastic deal. Also at Mr. B's, $13.99 brunch on Sundays. $12 bottomless mimosas to go with that. If you haven't been to Mr. B's in a while, stop by. Completely redesign the menu. Completely redesign the kitchen. And they got a ton of great specials going on as well. Tomorrow night. 9 to 11, I'll be there. Dollar night, $1 beers, $1 shots, $1 tacos as well. Mr. B's, downtown Royal Oak. Oh, I hope it's home from where we go. Woji. I hope, I hope, I Quiet, I'm whistling. I know. Well, they're about 35 minutes later than usual. You know, the dwarfs, I don't know. It's been yeah, the dwarves years. are the dwarves on their way home. The dwarves had a nice sleep. Nice yeah. snooze. They sure did. Yeah. Now, we have to clear this up because we went to the break, Michael, and we uh, I threw out the possibility if the listeners, texters, could veto that last one. Makes up his own rules as Even he goes Even though along. lots of people want to veto the horse racing beating Terry's um, hug up on the bitch, um, we cannot do it. We've decided we cannot do it. We cannot violate the rules of golf, nor the rules of the invitation. I have cheated. <laughs> uh, ticket text 97136. I have violated the rules of golf intensely. Thank you. I'll just read one ticket text real quick. Um, <laughs> tell the people to stop picking their f- t- their favors for the coast and pick the best choice. Agreed. No way Terry loses otherwise. Well, Maybe they came out flat. That's true. That, that could be very, very true. Let's get these teams into the uh-huh. final four, Let's shall go. we? Yes, yep. we Let's shall. Let's go to Josh. 
He's up next. Josh, you're going to put a team into the Final Four. Are you prepared? I'm ready to go. Let's go, boys. Joshua, understand that previous callers are getting destroyed on ticket text, so be very careful. All I'm right. ready for it. For a spot in the Final Four from the second deck region, it's the 1-3 matchup, the top seed. Second deck. Going up against the number three seed. Let the bitch walk. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, God. When it, comes Duke, down, when it comes down to the Elite Eight, the regional finals. This is Duke in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. This oh, is tough. Unbelievable. Josh, you know take us through it. This is the second deck region. And for that, I'm not taking second deck. I'm taking my boy Terry Foster. Oh, massive wow. upset. Wow. Wow. Oh, no. This is going to be there's going to be a lot of sentiment. Wow. Let the bitch walk. Wow. Whoa. Second the deck. number 1 overall seed oh, no. goes down. Oh, you know, right, you know what Rod Allen needs to well, so wants to say to that call. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. In their own Second regional. Deck. Yeah, exactly. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Wow. Let the bitch walk in that's the like, final four. That's like Michigan State losing at LC. Oh, all right. Oh, hey, <laughs> let, let's play Ben Carter instead of <laughs> Jay, instead of the number three pick in the bleeping draft. All right. Uh, so, okay, here we go. Next vote for the final four. Justin on a cell. Mm-hmm. Justin, how, how you, you doing, doing, buddy? Good. How you guys doing? All right. The pressure is immense. You're at the Wells yeah. Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Here we go to get a spot in the. Final four. The top seed. Going up against the second seed. Colored is fine. Massive. Oh. Massive implications. These are both veterans of the mm. game. Mm-mm. Justin. <sighs> well, Hatchman put me through on the phone, so I got to help him out and go. Colored is fine. Oh, God. Colored is fine. God. Wow. Colored is fine. Da- yeah, yeah, he's saying you <laughs> did not <laughs> help him. He's mad. Help. David's He's national nightmare continues as the colored is fine. Drop advances no. to the final four. There's only one number one seed left. That will be printed on T-shirts. Oh, and no. his colored is fine song is still alive in the opposite end. He's going to be kicked out of the race. He's we, already said that. We go to Dennis. It'll be on his headstone. The oh, siren no. is out. Oh, Second deck is out. What would Jimmy Avello have offered you odds-wise if second deck and Siren didn't make the final four? That's it would be, unbelievable. It would be 35 to 1. Yeah. Go to Dennis, who's up next. Oh, my God. Dennis, are you there? Boys, oh. be a part of history. Oh, Dennis, I'm so nervous. It's t- uh, Loyal from... and none. Yeah. All over the place. All right, for another spot in the final four from the Terry's D's region, it's the one seed against the two seed, the top seed. You want to talk about my D? Terry's talking about his D. Hard and black. It's not hyperbole. Terry's talking about his D. We're on the big D, man. It's like you got to hold that sucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> going up against, I like, I like how Sully plays a little more <laughs> each time. Tiny bit more. Uh, going up against the number two seed. Quite honestly, when you can do one fingered, we don't leave you hanging. It's black, and I know that's always popular. But if that's you incredible. look at the white meat, oh my gosh, look at this juicy, juicy, moist. tender, delicious, and moist. Look oh at that. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Why don't we do that more often? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, uh, proper sure. chef bits. Wow. I need mm. a shower. Okay. <laughs> this is tough. All right, gentlemen. The only thing Terry's holding, he's holding the scissors. He's going to be trimming down the nets. He's moving on to the final four. Woo! We you have a number one. About my D. Another scintillating victory. D. Wow. Hard. Oh. One of the classiest songs we've ever done. Amazing. All right. Here we go. Terry's D pounding its way through the tournament into the final four. We go to Doughboy to set the final four. Nice, Tony Mojo. It's me, the Doughboy. Hey! How are you, Doughboy? It's the Pillsbury Doughboy. (laughs) He used to. says, loving like a biscuit in the oven on 97 won the ticket. Hey, Doughboy, Doughboy. Here here comes the finger into your belly. What is hey, going Wojo. on? Wojo, it's been a while. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Here comes the finger again. <laughs> Here 
Here come, watch out for next year. Here comes the finger again. It's a six seed. <laughs> All right, Doughboy. Here comes the finger. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go, Who Doughboy. is that with you, the Mega Man? <laughs> All right. I'm glad I got to before the 6 o'clock power down. All right. Oh, oh, my oh, my God. Doughboy, you're killing us. All right, Doughboy, here we go. Uh, for, do it. for a trip to the uh, Final Four, we have the uh, fourth seed. He said his people back 50 years, colored his fine. Colored his fine. David said colored his fine. Going up colored against the upset minded and with lots of momentum, the 11th seed. Horse racing talk from 2 to 6. You don't like it, Mike says. Second dick. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. What's it going to be, Doughboy? Mm. Okay, here's the deal. Since second deck went down in its own reason, I'm going with the upset second deck. What? Second deck? That makes no sense. Doughboy, it's second... Just second deck in the song. Oh, that's right. Second deck was in the song. Uh, oh, wait, he's taking down Colored is Fine? Mike wait. says second I'm... deck. Yeah, that's the Bruno Horse one. Yeah, I'm taking down Hatchman. Okay. Don't boy, you're taking that. That's a Horse half baked choice. Here comes the <laughs> finger, <laughs> indeed. Like it, Mike says, oh, I got a thing. I got a thing for you, Hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And by the way, here comes the finger into your belly. We have a one, two, <laughs> by three, the eleven. Way, Doughboy just spoiled. An all-black yes. Final Four. Yes, he, he did. did. Yes, he did. We yes. had a chance for a let the bitch walk, colored is fine, Terry's D, colored is fine, Final Four. That would have been a full black caucus Final Four. And, and wait instead, a minute. you got George Mason. <laughs> and what color is the P- Pillsbury Doughboy? Oh, what man. color is he, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh, bring, my. Bring him, mm-hmm. bring him young advances. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not finished, fake news. Here comes the finger into your belly. <laughs> now, now the, the final four, by the way, will be played on the uh, aircraft carrier Hollis. Uh, if you're thinking about getting new home windows, you got two options, magic fiberglass or cheap vinyl. Look at the facts. Magic fiberglass, eight times stronger, three times more energy efficient. You can paint it. You can customize it, but you will never have to replace it. Magic fiberglass guaranteed for life. Take a look at that energy bill. As David would say, cut it in half. You get magic fiberglass windows, you are saving money immediately. One twenty nine a month, two years, no interest. All you got to do, use the coupon code VALENI. That's two years, no interest. One twenty nine a month, coupon code VALENI. Be confident you got the best windows for the best value and a lifetime guarantee to back it up. What the hell else do you need? Book your free consultation. Magicwindow.com. That's magic with a J, window.com. It's magic windows built for you, built for life. Quaint little town in the south part of France. Man. Bonjour. Man. We are right near Italy where we were. Man. Snooty elitist. Not me. Not me. An elitist. Me. He plays tennis at the country club. A black man's at his door. He won't open up. Sorry. He wears J. Crew and he's better than you. He's an elitist. What did you say? His dad is Mr. Rose Bowl. Elitist. Elitist. Game is down the right. Conceded. Watch where you're going. Starbucks coffee. Celebrity wife. He only respects the fine of things. Ah, uh, the last time you'll hear it. <laughs> a band song that we have brought out of the archives for one day. Oh my. Now, poor the, Jamie. The final Classic. four is set. I, I am straight rattled by this gentleman named Doughboy. That was remarkable. Yeah, yeah. Doughboy, a uh, caller from way back. He literally is the Pillsbury Doughboy, so that's why I was playing with his belly. Here, Here comes your- a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes a finger. <laughs> why do... I mean, it's should we just the boy have should we back. just announce essentially that yes, uh, next uh, Wednesday after the All Star Game, we will have the annual Stony Woodrum Invitational, 
and that drop will absolutely be in it. Yes. Oh, yeah, I think a very high seed as well. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, yeah. All right, here's your final four. Let the bitch walk facing off against Colored is fine. Terry's D facing off against the Cinderella of Cinderella's horse racing time. Mm-hmm. And you've got one side of the bracket is the songs, the other side is the drops, and then one drop and one song will meet in the championship game. The seeds are 1, 3, 2, and 11. Wow. Let's go to Tom Wow, and put a team in the championship game. Tom, how are you? Gentlemen. Thomas, for a spot in the championship game, Thomas, are you ready? No, but let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Don't be nervous. From the second deck region, go uh, the number... Three seed. Let the bitch walk. Mm, mm. Going up against from the siren region, the number two seed. Colored is fine. Oh, my. Deadly. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, my. It's deadly. Tom, it's tough. If you need to talk through it, you mm, are welcome to. Mm, mm. If you want to abstain, we can get somebody else to do it. Nope. Someone's got to do the business. Mm-hmm. I mm. would have taken old bit siren, but old bit siren went away. Mm, yep. Does. We gotta let the bitch walk, gentlemen. Let wow. the bitch walk. Wow, David gets his dream. Let the bitch walk! Colored so, is fine has been eliminated. All of the colored is fines have been wiped out of the field. The bitch is just walking through that field. Holy smokes! Wow. Here we go. And there is a chance of an all Terry classic final. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the other side of the bracket. Jeremy's in Canton. He is ready to step to the plate. Jeremy, Jeremy, how are you, buddy? Oh, man, I'm scared, but I'm ready. Mm. Uh, you shouldn't be scared. Yes, you should. You should be nervous. Don't be scared. Be, just, be right, pre- let's go. just be prepared. All right, here we go. For the championship matchup, the top seed. You want to talk about my D? Jeremy's talking about his D. Hard and black. Hard and black. Against out of the elitist region, the 11 seed. Horse racing talk from two to six. You don't like it, Mike says. Second deck. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. Boring for you, but not for Mike. Well, Jeremy. Jeremy. All, right, all right. Well, a lot of people are probably going to really get mad at me. But uh, the horse racing song has always been my favorite one. So I have to go yes. with your song, Mike. Unbelievable. How is that even possible? I ask you. This is where dreams are made. Oh, my God. God. Second deck. (laughs) Play that jam. Jeremy, second deck to you. (laughs) Second deck. My God, the top seed is gone. Listen, this has been a tournament of upsets. It is chaos. The siren's been eliminated. Rod Allen's regular eliminated. Elitist eliminated. Look, second deck lives on through the Bruno Mars remix. I think that's how to pull on people. I think it's I'm, disgusting. I'm, I'm, how can Terry's uh, uh, talking about the D go down in the final four? And now we have the championship game between the an 11 seed and a 3 seed. Are you prepared? All right, let's get a call. In. Sean is in Warren to decide the first annual oh. Stoney and oh. Rojo Invitational. Sean, are you okay? Uh, oh boy, I um, oh man, this is an honor. I um, mm. this is a lot. This is a it lot. It is a lot. Mm-hmm. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Here's the matchup. Here we go. All right, you can save us, Sean. Just understand that. From the drops <laughs> side of the bracket, the number three seed. Let the bitch walk. Going against from the song side of the bracket, the eleven seed. Horse racing talk. From two to six, you don't like it, Mike says. Second deck. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. But this for is Mike. this is what dreams are made of: an established classic, a mm. blue blood versus the new guy on the block, mm. a cult hero keeping the second deck tradition alive. Sean, for all the marbles mm. in the first annual Stony and Wojo Invitational, your selection. You know, guys, I um, talking through it here. You know, it's like the horse racing, catchy. It the second deck is. It's eliminated. It, it just, but I have to go with my heart here, you guys. 
I gotta let the bitch walk. Let's go. Let the yes. bitch walk! Let's yes. go! Let's go! There she is, well, Joe. She's got the scissors out. The bitch is walking. She's coming Thank down the so Go, Thank bitch, you. go. Let that bitch walk right Let up the to the bitch bitch ladder. Ladder. <laughs> and I can't believe it. Man. Oh, my, my heart's racing. Down oh, my lord. Horse racing. Horse racing. Down goes horse racing. Oh, oh, take oh, that for data. Oh, man. Right. Horse <laughs> racing thought he was going to pull a, I don't know. It was A close. Giacomo it was from 2009. It was close. Was close. And then Scotty oh. Reynolds at the buzzer to decide it. What an emotional day oh. for all of us. Oh, my Give God. Give me my Medium well. <laughs> oh, there it is. Sean's not leaving, apparently. Sean, what a moment for everybody involved. Oh, man. I, I, I oh. want to thank a well-deserved uh, champion. Let the bitch Congra walk. Congratulations to Terry Foster. Absolutely. Absolutely. The great, classic. The great Terry Foster. Yes. Honored as we only. Have a, and that's a credible champion good. drop. No I, doubt. I, I want to thank both Stoney and Wojo. Oh, my thank God, you, that was guys. Fun. An electric afternoon. Oh. Thank you for the food. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. 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 We had a great time. All, and, the, all the listeners. And the best minions in the game. Oh, the nice in their the damn finest minions. Way, Way to too go. much work went into this. <laughs> oh, my go. God. We'll see you next July 19th. And, Michael, <laughs> if you would, fade it out and let her walk into the sunset. There she goes. Champion of the first annual Stoney and Wojo Invitational. The bitch is back. Look at her walk. Let the bitch walk. There she goes. Up the ladder. Bitch walk. What a champion. What a beautiful champion. What a beautiful bitch. Let the bitch walk. Let the bitch walk. Let, let, let the bitch walk. Woohoo! Bogey and Wojo on 97.1. The ticket. That's right. Upsets abound in the Stony and Wojo Invitational. Kyle Bogey here on the Stoney Wojo Invitational Network. We got a post-game show. Tons to get into. Upsets all over the place. We got Vito on Vito Crime. We got the Doughboy. Here comes the finger, baby. I want your reactions right now, hot off the press. The phone number is 248-539-9797. Ticket text is at 97136. I am currently working right now on getting some post-game commentary from Wojo, from Stoney, Valenti. We're trying to somehow track these guys down and really let them break down what just transpired over the last four hours. But, yes, let the bitch walk did take home the championship in the Stoney and Wojo Invitational, taking out Mike's horse racing song. And I think I speak for America when I say, thank goodness. The horse racing song was officially taken down. Let the bitch walk! There it is, your champion. And guys, I, I gotta say this. From the beginning, and I welcome your comments if you have any issues with who ultimately won, who got to the final four, any of the vetoes. The phone number is 248-539-9797. Ticket text is at 97136. To me, the greatest travesty in this Stoney and Wojo Invitational, the fact that Jamie's Alita's song was eliminated. <laughs> That was the number one overall, in my mind, seed. There is no way that that song should have should have been taken down. By the way, uh, again, if you want to comment, you have any issues, any grudges, the phone number is 248-539-9797. Uh, I'm hearing this in my ear right now. Again, the Stoney and Wojo Invitational Post Game Show. We're wrapping the last four hours up. Uh, what's that? Okay, we have Wojo and Stoney and Valeni we're in the studio podium. right now. We're at the podium. We'll take um, questions. Yes, again, if anyone would like to, uh, again, ask a question to any of these fine gentlemen in regards to what Durant transpired, the phone number is 248-539-9797. I think first of all, here on the post-game show, gentlemen, how are we feeling right now? I got to believe <sighs> you are worn out beyond belief. I just got out of the shower. Came here as quick as I could. Sorry, I'm only wearing a towel. Um, but Get it was very good. Water. Oh, he man. made taxing yeah. four hours. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, yes, it was taxing, but I do believe a worthy champion was crowned. 
Uh, the Terry drop, let the bitch walk. So um, many quality teams. Yeah, and, uh, you know we just mm. we, left, I, I we just, left it all out. You there. know, you know what it's, yeah. it's like about any any tournament, Kyle. It's all about matchups. Yeah, I mean, and you know, certain teams you thought were going to be better, but they didn't match up. I mean, the fact that the, you know the horse racing song came out with that Syracuse because they're they're from Saratoga, and they came out with that same mm. you know matchup zone yeah. that Jim Beheim. Mm. That's why they were able to advance. It's who wanted it more. It really was. Well, there's no doubt about that. I got to tell you, there's some surprises in this one. Mm -hmm. As I was listening throughout the afternoon, again, the Stoney and Wojo Invitational just wrapping up. This is your post-game show uh, here on the Bogey and Wojo Show. Mm -hmm. One of the surprises for me, I'd love to get your guys' thoughts here on the podium, is we do have Stoney, Wojo, and Valeni with us in studio. If Mm -hmm. you call, please identify yourself and your affiliation. Yes, please. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We do want some decorum as we do go through Mm -hmm. this press conference. Speaking of which, decorum didn't do very well yeah it did not at is all is larry lage gonna call in with a question <laughs> please <laughs> talk about ahead, uh, <laughs> i thought the golfing on the down low sully and lesson what a surprise that was and that was mm-hmm. a forgotten song for the most part did you notice uh, 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 uh bogey how poorly the caldwell drops and songs did apparently people harboring ill will towards the former and lions even, coach. even the get-go when uh martha ford yeah, yeah, got rid of yeah. Him. she took care of him nicely. Even though she mm-hmm. loved them. Should we go to the phones? Take some questions here on the Stony and Wojo Invitational. Sure, as long show. as they identify themselves in their affiliate with okay. newspaper or radio. 248 539 9797. Let the bitch walk is your champion. Taking out Mike's horse racing song, which, as you know, Kyle Bogey, your post game host, very pleased about horse racing can go away for all I care. Mm. Uh, I see a hand up in the back. Let's go to Tom in Troy. You're uh, on the Stoney and Wojo Invitational post game show. Tom, we have Stoney, Wojo, and Valeni with us. What do you got? Hey, how you guys doing? Well, wow, what a show, man. I'm going to tell you. We're a little, Tom, a little uh, tired. Awesome. Yeah, one of us just got up at 4 30 in the morning. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I just want to say I can't believe how early um, the Troy Aikman drop went out. I, was... I, was, I, thought you, I thought one of you guys should have vetoed that one. But I was disappointed. I, in I said that. that, but the bracket in front of me, well, I I forgot what actually it was a beat. four and a five seed. Yeah. Maybe it was seated poorly. I don't know. I mean, it was too yeah. close to. I mean, is it how really could that, surprising? How could that go so you know, you know when he said that on national TV, it's like that wasn't a made up drop. Is it, that was like just, Tom. Tom, let me ask you this: Is it really surprising that the Troy Aikman drop pulled out early? No, not really. I, no. Know. <laughs> I mean, it's the right irony now. is just fantastic. Oh, Troy, Troy Aikman not being Very in. Right. The Thank later, you, Tom. Troy Aikman not being in the later stages of this tournament. It, it, it's 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 like not believing in Christmas anymore. Mm-hmm. Right? It was just, it was heartbreaking. I a lot of ones when you look back over. You know, and, you know, you'll go back and forth, and mm. listeners maybe who made the decision they might not be able to sleep tonight. You know, like eating out, chicken <laughs> eating out. I mean, no, eating out is who beat. Troy Aikman. Some decorum. Some decorum, please. And I guarantee you there's some of those people who made those picks that are devastated when they think about it in retrospect what they did, how they wrecked the brackets for others. I have to tell you guys, I almost boycotted the Stony and Wojo Invitational, but I'm legally obligated to do the network post game, so I have to be here for it to mm-hmm. do this for you guys. I almost boycotted because the Asian second deck was not in the field. Mm. Very disappointing. That stuff. should have been a playing game. We made we made a conscious decision mm-hmm. uh, as a committee that we couldn't have two of the same drop, mm-hmm. and we also knew we would have a problem uh, that there could be mm. some favoritism with the new flavor, which would be the uh, international selection. Right. And um, mm. listen, mm. we made a tough call. That's we why Sergio by. Dip did not make the field. Either. Correct. Another uh, one. I stand Left by, out of the field. I stand by my guys. Could, could I get a Gatorade or a water up here, please? <laughs> While we're up here. Hey, up here at the podium. Can uh, I get a Gatorade? Excuse me. Whoa, Joe. That's how you get eaten out. <sighs> Two, four, eight, five, three, nine, ninety seven, ninety seven. You got a towel? Uh, left side of the room. Let's go to James in Ann Arbor. You're on the Stony and Wojo Invitational Post Game Show. We have Stony, Wojo, and Valenny live. What do you got? Yes, I, I want to know about the rules, and I, and I have some... Uh, Strong reservations about the victory today, and I think mm. that the let let the bitch walk was played too quickly. Let the bitch walk. The first, yeah. Yes, after the first win, and so the mm. fans didn't get to see the full uh, ride of the first let the bitch walk. Wait, you're saying in the final game or earlier in the tournament? Uh, either every time. I mean, it was like it was in the air, and the next let the bitch. Walk was thrown again. Wow. It's unfair. 
Okay, we'll have to go to the replay reviews on that. And I'll tell you what, so, Sully... So are you, are you upset that let the bitch walk, cut down the nets, basically? No, probably. But you know what? Sully Kid behind the glass had a very difficult... The timing of hitting the button was key. It did affect people's vote at times, I think. He starts to come, point. and then he pulls out. I thought, I thought his Sully fatigued. Um, mm-hmm. Some things started to slip out. I thought his... Well, the his, substitution patterns weren't weren't yeah, all that great down yeah, the stretch. They were, yeah, they, they were Izzo-esque. But he, <laughs> he had started to play some of the songs, and I thought songs got advantages because his fatigue, it was his finger was cramping. Yep. It was harder mm-hmm. for him to hit the button. So he was giving you these bigger morsels where drops are just drops. They're quick, mm. they're fleeting. Um, I, I, I Listen, the kid, he left his heart out there. I can't criticize him. Well, that's why it's so important in a tournament like this to have a strong bench, right? Absolutely. Maybe next year. And De- I feel Depth compelled. Key, and I, uh, ultimately, you know, I'm sorry, Bob, uh, apologies. No, no, that's quite all right. I, yeah. I think it's key, though, is like, you know, there's a, you know, the minions, the, the, the depth that this mm-hmm. radio program possesses yep. that others don't. And I, I think you saw it today. I mean, Many our, minions. our bench. Our bench battled, and our bench kept us in the mix, and it was the only way we could get Stoney and, and Wojo across the line. I mean, they haven't done four hours ever. I mean, they were a three-hour show. Yeah. So and our our bench, th- those sub-patterns. I, I will say I thought Wojo's energy was beginning to diminish until about 535 when the Doughboy decided to come oh, yeah, in. Yeah. Let and me clear yeah. something up. The, the, the Doughboy <laughs> always gets Wojo going. Let me clear Everyone something Everyone asking on the ticket text, can you address this, please, I, Wojo? I need to explain my relationship with the Doughboy. We go way back. Um, I've always been fascinated by his round, blubbery midsection. Mm-hmm. Love sticking the finger in there and making him giggle. <laughs> I've been doing it for 15 to 20 years. Doughboy always makes a pick in the tournament. And um, and I'm not surprised that he eliminated uh, one of the Colored is Fine songs, because as you know, the Doughboy <laughs> is white. Uh, yeah. uh, get, get that micro- microphone away from him. we got to be done with that. Come on, let's end that conversation. Okay. The phone number, 248-539-9797. Um, are we are we continuing with this Tony and Flo show mm-hmm. invitational well, post game? You, you think you talking Kawhi's going to get calls? I mean, I don't think so. I have some good stuff on Larry Fedora and his football comments, but you guys pretty me pretty much set me up for disaster. You've got people pontificating about the Tony and Flo show <laughs> we, invitational. We, we are ready to Larry, go. Larry Hat. <laughs> How about this? Couple more questions for the panel when we come back. <laughs> Couple more. What time for does Coach? Talk Soup start? <laughs> I don't know. We'll get to right your questions coming up. We have Stony, Wojo, Valeni. They have a towel. They have water. Can I get a Gatorade? Yeah, we need some sugar for Wojo, some more Nutter Butters maybe. But get your questions in now on the Stony and Wojo Invitational 97.1. I was going to talk about it Friday, have some fun with it. And we'll, uh, you know, we, we made it a tradition on this show. We always did the Triple Crown stuff, and I would, you know, cap the races and hand you some picks. And 2 4 8 5 3 9 97 97. So we'll do that Friday. That'll be fun. Cars racing talk from 2 to 6. You don't like it, Mike says. Second deck. It sucks for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. Boring for you, but not for Mike. Arr. But not for Mike. Horse racing talk the entire show. Mike said it was the right move. Like no Joe, it's us for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. Boring for you, but not for Mike. But not for Mike. It's 88 to 1. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are still courtside at Little Caesars Arena. Recapping, breaking down, mm. taking your questions as well as the post game press conference does continue. They the first taking... annual Stoney and Wojo Invitational. Yes, Stoney. The arena is still taking paper tickets for, for this. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, especially for you two, obviously. Uh, the Stoney and Wojo Invitational here. done. Yeah. Thankfully, you have some numbers in front of you. That's yeah. a good thing. That huh. song right there bows out in the title game. Let the bitch walk, mm. winning the Stoney and Wojo Invitational. Guys, if you have any thoughts on this, We'd certainly love your reaction. If you have any questions for the guys, what an afternoon. And I, I will say, Stoney, Wojo, Valeni, but it was David, it was Roberto, it was Sully all afternoon long, I just, just talked, hammering away. I just and, saw S- Sully, and he is uh, hmm. he's at his desk. He's actually typing in the bracket with his nose. He's <laughs> icing his little bird yep. fingers. Now, yep. is he going to have an off day tomorrow just because no. of the... Gr- no. No, he'll just be wearing oven mitts. <laughs> <laughs> His fingers are cramping for pushing buttons. But yeah. he's, a, he's a champion. The hotline, is, pace. the hotline is 248-539-9797 if you want to get your questions can, in. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Um, 
Wait, what does this say? You have full lines <laughs> on on a post game show for a nonsensical drop music tournament, and the ticket techs are going so fast it crashed. We're we're gonna get back to some of the questions out there, but Whoa, what are we gonna trust me? Sports. Whoa, I'm so- <laughs> oh, God. I was out there on well, the let's, couch. Let's, let's take it to the whiteboard, I, Rubes. I I have all the. <laughs> You know, Kawhi got traded tonight. What a, what a, what a, let me give you a scat. <laughs> Lions training camp gets underway tomorrow. Let's get right. right into it. Let's do a real topic. Uh, surprise player coming out of camp. Too far right. Can I say that I thought the 11 seated horse racing song what's the, reaching what's the Patricia effect? Too far right. The championship game was a farce. It was a farce. It was. Yeah. Because it was just people. That liked Mike, that wanted his song that's to continue. That's what we on. thought. Yeah. Yes. It was crap. If you really want to break it down, that's what we thought. I agree. I mm-hmm. can't, listen, you can't, I can't help that I'm so loved. What do you want? <laughs> He's in such a they humble fear man you as well. so much. <laughs> no. I told you. Listen, the horse racing song doesn't have any goodwill. All I do is alienate people when I bring that up. It's not like it's some amazing. It's it, the reason is the quality, and I'm telling you, here's the key: it possessed the second deck spirit. It mm. kept second deck alive. That, that, that it did. I'll and stay that. off the weed. Mm. The, the, the Doughboy certainly enjoyed the fact that second deck was included, you know, in the uh, the horse racing well, song as well. You guys, Big. what do you think was the biggest shock or the eliminated second deck? Troy Aikman. Eliminated? Oh, oh yeah, Troy yeah, Aikman. yeah. You're right. The Troy Aikman. Troy, Troy Aikman. Yeah, yeah. P- pulling thank out you, so you. early right, in the tournament. Uh, excuse me. Excuse Cameras, me. The photography. Yeah. yeah. My God. Down in front. Down in front. Jeez. Is this like the NBA Finals when all the goofballs ask the questions? Yes. Hi, Bob McNuggets here from uh, CommunityPatriotNews.com. Uh, well, let's go back and to some questions. Kobe Bryant a question. Lee Wilderman from the Tel Aviv News. Right. <laughs> no, he... <laughs> guy israeli yes, star I six know. or whatever yes, it is he's, he's been in every nba yes, final yes. since i was 13 right, I, don't know, I don't know his name he'll but... get up there and ask shack a question do you like basketball and you're like how did this guy get in while we have you guys in studio let's get to a few more questions here again the stoney and wojo invitational post game show let's go to anthony and fenton you're on 97 on the ticket hey anthony hey how are you guys good anthony what's happening good. So for all three of you and you too, Kyle, what is the biggest letdown? Like, which one did you think would go the furthest that did? For me, it's Aikman. He starts to come and then he pulls out. He starts to come and then he pulls Mm -hmm. out. To me, I mean, that's just a bedrock drop on the program, whether we're talking about Sully's date night or we're talking about, uh, you know, someone choking late in the game. I I was stunned. Biggest letdown for me, the Medium Well song going out. Hatchet's medium well song going up. That no, that was devastating for me. And actually, the, the one that was devastating for me was the fact that, and I could have saved it, and I didn't. Uh, Hooper's birthday, which I like, but beating the traditional hay, uh, mm. I, I regret not using my veto. There. I texted Jamie Samuelson uh, at about seven forty-five, eight o'clock this morning, and said the Alita song is going to win tonight. And mm. he never texted me back because he loves to ignore me, but. I was very much hoping that that would go all the way. I, I know, Stoney, you had talked to Jimmy Avello out at the Win Sportsbook. Mm. And Johnny Avello. But sorry. That's okay. <laughs> whatever. The point is, I mean, that, that was at least 7-2 to two or 3-1 to one mm. outright overall. If, if we had put odds on this tournament, I thought elitist because it's banned. Yeah. Because management banned it. <sighs> I got to be honest. So once it appeared in the same bracket as colored is fine, I thought was it was. Trouble. I thought it was in trouble. That was a bad draw. It's like seeing elitist. Gonzaga in your bracket. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got a tough question Queen coming your guys' way. The oh, there it is. Let's go to Lance Meh. in Bloomfield. Lance, welcome to the Stony and Wojo Invitational Post Game Show live courtside, Little Caesars Arena. Hey, first and foremost, everything that happens right now was a irrev- was a revelant. I can't believe Petrov wasn't in there. And uh, Mr. Uh, Bogan Spook over here. Where was where was that drop at? Oh, good point. Lance, good point. Lance doing a network post game show. I'm not supposed to have an opinion on the uh, the yeah. actual game, but but yeah, I would agree with that. Just pray it in the there. Right. But we, uh, me, and my office, we literally filled out brackets. We we bet on this. Oh no! I, I no told people anything. People, you guys ruined our entire office today because everyone just listened to you guys. So, so for this tournament. So, how many people's uh, brackets were completely screwed up early? 
Uh, there were there were some screwed up ones. I can believe that the only ten in baseball was the number sixteen seed. I that I was at sixteen. That I mean, that is an epic drop right there. Wait, but, which I one mean, was a sixteen seed? Oh, the only stat is a single. Oh, that yeah. one. Wow. That, I think I think part of it that plays into it is how much do we use them, and that one is rare. So like we use it. When it's cold, or like when, well, here's the other thing too, and mm. and we just we can't talk about this baseball team. So it it mm. kind of maybe last year at this time it was an eight seed. Two years ago when it debuted, probably a four when the team was still somewhat relevant. But now you know they're a million games out. I don't know that I've played that drop in in three months. Well, and I think we're learning that that means anything. <laughs> there he is. In baseball is the single. Like if you're the not single. gonna get played, you have to be a classic. Let the bitch walk was our moment of, of 2015. It's at a different level. And I think Let what we learned here, walk. there we go. I think what we learned here is the selection committee has to take the seating very, very seriously because I do think there were some seating mistakes and people were gambling on it. And I don't think horrific mistakes, but a few very underseated teams. By the way, for members of the press, we will have full transcript ready to go here <laughs> in the next few minutes. Uh, Q and A here with Stoney and Wojo and Valeni as what they time answer is the questions. Media uh, responding to the Stoney and Wojo what invitation. What time is Stoney crushing Bud Lights at the Palace? <laughs> <laughs> Can I say this real quick? Yeah. And I know you guys have to get out of here. We appreciate so much time in the post game show. The Pat California, you know, California Dream and Song. Yeah, I love For that, that to be knocked out in His the Tupac second round, mm. that was tough. Kyle, it's a minefield. I know. California Love. I know. You're so inclined. I love that song. California Love. California Love. It's just Pack perfect. Of it's all good. That was a tough one. Early elimination. Let me ask you a question. Do you think, because everything's always trial and error, with this type of tournament, would it be better to change and mix up the songs and the drops, or do you think it was better the way we kept them Mm. separate? I think it's unfair for a song to go against a drop. Segregation is a way to go, I think, yeah. (laughs) There we go. There's a three seed for next year. Where is Roberto immediately? Segregation. That might be second best from the drop that we got of Bob when he was talking to uh, the Doughboy. The Doughboy. Right. Here comes the finger. I, Segregation. I was crying on the couch outside the I, studio. I didn't know what the what what was happening, and then boom, the guy's like, ee. oh my gosh! All right, uh, we have a bunch of texts flying in, plenty of feedback. Stony, Wojo, Valeni. Oh, we're to the real issues of the day. <laughs> Okay. There's a sports I, rating. By the way, I think somebody said I've been on five shows today. Cross talk with Leach. Unbelievable. Then our show with Jamie. Cross talk with Carson Anderson twice. Wow. I heard that was not to mention. Or, or no, right. Not to mention you're going to be here till like after I am. I'm off the air at ten. You'll be here till at least ten fifteen. I, right? heard, I heard. I heard that cross talk was lit. I'll be Bojo and uh, Doug and Gator. Yeah. Heard the enthusiasm was high. Yeah. Oh, we'll absolutely. get to some more of your responses, some more of your feedback. The Stony and Wojo Invitational Postgame Show, live courtside at Little Caesars Arena, 97 1.